About four years ago, I started drop shipping, but not with products, it was with services. Four years ago, I started, but it wasn't nationally with websites, it was local. I prepared a few videos to show you how I pulled off days like $26,000 with no paid traffic. This is an awesome video on how to start a yacht business or yacht charter business without owning any yachts yourself and you can do this from home completely online so this is a drop service in sight drop service and it's called arbitrage service arbitrage and i'm going to show you exactly how to do this from scratch it can be set up before the weekend you could be profitable okay and you're going to see exactly how so make sure you stay to the end all right so here we go <clears throat> this is a site called prime experiences as you can see they can rent out these yachts for 3700 5300 5700 4500 5100 and these are just per day if you have your own drop service in sight like this then you can make thousands of dollars off every booking per day and this is not a fluke that's not just one site there's a couple of them out there but what you're going to have on your side is my ability to market and advertise and jump ahead of the competition and my students are doing it so the first step would be to get your generically made just easy who cares type of website one page you can start off like that 50 bucks have that done in a day 24 hours blah 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 there's a couple guys that are doing it right okay so now we're not even going to check out the calculator yet what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how we will be driving traffic to get you those bookings so we will say yacht charter rental depend on what city you're trying to go for you can put up paid ads or you can do this right here which we teach our students inside the godfather of drop servicing but i'll show you this in a minute so let's get back to this all right so when you're right here in the snack pack we call it that because uh, 85 to 90 percent of the sales volume come from right here in this area people will click right here and then they will go uh to your website right here or they'll call that number all right so what you're going to be doing you're like david i don't even have any um yachts or anything remember at the beginning i told you you don't have to have have any yachts what we're going to do is we're going to partner with these guys the same way that these companies right here did these people do not own any of these yachts the people that own this website partnered with local vendors partnered with local uh, service providers and people that actually have the yachts uh, in their inventory and whenever a call comes through or a person buys or books from this website they will contact those partners and say hey do you have this in your inventory right now is this available for these days and these hours if they say yeah then they uh, collect the fee the commission from the customer or the client or whatever and then everybody get their cut is that damn simple hey my name is cam and i am the owner of kf network and i just want to get on here and to express my gratefulness and gratitude to y'all's real israel david and when i tell you i got instant messages people flooding in that wanted my services and i've been booming ever since you know not exaggerating booming ever since so if you are on the fence of working with Yaz real David Israel I'm here to tell you you are missing out you are missing out I have made thousands of dollars and I'm not even exaggerating I'm super excited with 2024 uh, working with Dave so once you're set up right here in the cities that you're trying to go out there and you can do this in multiple cities guys it's endless possibilities you don't even just have to make a thousand a day you can make all the way up to ten thousand a day in this niche right here it depends on what cities you're getting your traffic from and how hard you go once you get in the Godfather drop service and I'll let you do the calculations on your your own but this is an easy one if we were just going off of this right here these hourly uh you know bookings and everything if a person got eight hours a day and they booked it for three days or they gave them a weekend experience or something like that you can make around three thousand dollars just in that weekend super easy guys so what we like to target is corporate events and everything so but anyway you'll learn all of that inside the godfather of drop service and where we guarantee you can make up to five hundred to seven thousand dollars a day easily and if you need to see it proven you can go in here you can watch this video right here i'll show you all not all my earnings but then you can watch these testimonials right here of students listen i woke up to money for five dollar fly guy david robinson i went through his class and i made 140,000 in 90 days they're booking right now it's already been three people have booked in less than 24 hours. Uh, this was when we were doing a party bus niche right here. This student came in and with a couple of days, he was profitable with his party bus niche. So we got the testimonials. We have everything to get over your skepticism. So how can you start your own drop servicing real estate staffing agency? I know that sounds like a long name. We'll just call it a uh, real estate staffing agency. Okay. So there's two ways you can do this. You can drop ship, drop ship real estate and you can drop service real estate. So what do I mean by that? We're gonna go on here, and these are sites that are already drop servicing. See, 
that's why I told you guys on the last, last video that you think that drop servicing is something new, but it's really not. Drop servicing has been around for hundreds of years before, well, millennium, all right? Like back in the Cretaceous period. No, I'm just playing. All right, drop servicing is well known. It just didn't go by that name. Like I told you in the other video, even paper call is drop servicing. So I'm going to walk you through this. Make sure you stay to the end. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Share this to your page if you're watching this from work so that you can watch it later. Do not, whatever you do, do not lose this information right here. And even worse, whatever you do, do not just watch this information without doing what you're going to see in here because I am, in fact, doing this and it is extremely lucrative for me and my partners and i want you guys to experience the same damn thing all right or similar okay so zillow trulia.com realtor.com these are just some of the giants that are doing this okay so buying real estate will be considered drop shipping if you guys got into that so we're not talking about drop shipping even though that's still good high ticket drop shipping rent that would be drop servicing. Why would I say that? Because people have to pay monthly on that. So it's not just capabilities of one potential transaction that you can get. You can get monthly recurring payments. All right. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Now, let's see. Now that you know that you can do this on here, what I like to do is I'll check out what's going on. And I'll see what the prices are going for in a particular area. Palmer Woods, Detroit. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing from what I'm seeing. All right. So once you find an area that you want, and the best way of doing that is doing this right here. Uh, like condos for rent in whatever city you're in. Let's say Los Angeles. But what you really want to do is do by owner why do you want to do by owner now you can do uh with agents and everything like that but a lot of them are more difficult and i like to deal with uh agents sometimes if i have connections with them already but if you're brand new at this you have better luck with landlords and and people that have their own properties and everything like that so what can you do you can literally find renters for them very simple see so i told you real estate you can start a real estate staffing agency you can hire landlords you can hire home owners that uh, and property owners and everything or you can even hire apartment building owners all right and what i mean by that where they contact you every single time an availability comes up an opening comes up somebody's lease is over you just do lead generation and get them in there and you get a cut so let's say that rent where are we at rent is 1100 a month you can keep it like that when you deal with them you can keep it like that or you can bump it up a couple hundred 1300 a month or something kind of like this one all right bump it up to 15 that one would be 15 but me like since it's already a little bit higher what i would do is i would contact the owner or the landlord and i would literally just work it out with them to where I get a percentage of this every month. So a lot of them, they like to try to give you just like a, a block and to be like, look, let me just give you this and that's it. No, 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 no. You want recurring payments. So I would take maybe three to four out of this, maybe three to four out of this. You want to, you know, he still got to deal with his expenses and blah, blah, blah. But this is what I recommend to you watching this. Make sure you're writing this down. Only deal with landlords. And I and, and this went by another name in my school. Like I, I told you guys, I've been doing this forever. For, for some of you who want to question me, if you go to my school, you'll see that I teach something called home tell. Home tell. This was supposed to be like a competitor of airbnb i was trying to deal with a different type of model is still different but is similar to it i've been doing this already for years so you make the connection you'll partner with uh landlords uh hotels uh you'll party with motel uh, party <laughs> partner with motels and you'll partner with like landlords 
and land owners and everything like that, apartment building owners, and you'll literally just keep them booked. That's it. That's all. It's just Airbnb. It's the same damn thing. So now, now that you know it's the same, like all you would need to do is go ahead and know how to get traffic. Okay. So, all right. So what would you say? Because a lot of you like, oh, snap, Dave, this is super easy. I know a lot of landlords with Vacos. Uh, for those those of you not from the hood, Vaco is just a vacant building, all right? But I ain't been in the hood in a while. It might not even be called a Vaco no more, a squat, you know, whatever you want to call it. All right, those are, uh, a vacant building is money, okay, that a landlord does not know how to get, but you can get that for him or her, all right? So how would you do that? First, you want to look, you want to look professional. You want to approach them professionally, of course. So I would just literally get this cloned um, through Builderall. You can create a directory site, but if you don't have time to be building sites and stuff like I don't have time, you can literally just come here and you can search build uh, classified site. All right. And for a couple bucks. Let me see where we find that guy at the other day. Uh, give me one second to find him. All right, so as you can see, this dude will do an automotive. I think if you click on there, like he'll do different types as well. All right, so it's basically just a template that they can just pretty much just copy and paste and switch over to you. You just tell them you want a real estate one. So just come over here and, and type in build. Let's see if we can find it by typing in real estate. I will build a real estate website. That's a hundred bucks. There's a guy on here that'll do it like super cheap. Build a real estate website. Here we go. Five bucks. Uh this one is ten bucks. Blah blah blah. Here you go. Real estate housing site, forty bucks. Extremely cheap. And I'm I'm gonna link to these guys uh in, in a in a in a description. So it's very cheap. Look at this. I will build a real estate directory or listing website. It's very freaking cheap. A couple bucks, all right, to have it set up where you look professional like this. All right, so then all you do is you make your connections with the landlords. You can do that by email or by phone. Now, how do you find these landlords and, and, and know if they got, you know what I'm saying, properties available and everything? It's the same as if you were trying to get a real estate agent as an SEO client or do lead generation for a real estate client only you're using i'm teaching you to use your your marketing skills for yourself so you would do real estate lead generation for yourself meaning you would um generate buyer and seller leads okay so you would generate uh leads with people that are trying to sell their homes or people that are trying to rent their homes out and you will literally just tell them about this opportunity right here all right, like, look, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep you booked up, like at full capacity and everything. You're never gonna be uh, with a, with a vacancy, never gonna be with a vacancy. All right, so this is your freaking real estate agency, like your real estate staffing agency. You can literally just hire landlords and apartment building owners and everything like that. And uh, let me show you a way that you can do lead generation. All right, so condos for rent. Las Vegas, I mean, Los Angeles. All right, it said by owner. Let's see how many searches that is. It's telling us that, but it is. Vacation condos for rent, let's see. 30 searches per month. It's more than that. As you guys can see, uh, it's popping up with it. So it, it searches for it. weekly apartment rentals, that's a good one weekly think about it people got to pay every single week okay and if you have your site set up with the property on here they have to pay through there you don't have to list with Airbnb and none all of that extra bull to make money you can make your own money you can kill it so you you can literally just position yourself as this as you can see these guys are doing paid ads you can do that uh you know what i'm saying but you can also rank organically on here if you know how to do seo or if you don't, you just hit me up and I'll teach you, blah, blah, blah. All right, but weekly apartment rentals, all right? This has 90 searches approximately, all right? Boom, you can get in there. 
Okay, once you get in there, you're gonna get phone calls as well, but you can get people to just go to the site and book straight from the site with availabilities. Okay, so you want to deal with landlords or apartment building owners. Okay, why landlords? Uh, landlords, you want them to have at least five to 10 different properties, preferably duplexes and quads. Okay, preferably duplexes and quads, meaning like a lot of units, if you don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, why? Because you can continuously get money and you can like just double it. Think about it. If they got a quad, that's four families in one flat, right? Okay, if he's charging each family eight or six, let's just say 600 a month, nah, it depends on what city is in. Like in the Midwest, it's super cheap. All right, but like in Los Angeles or something, if he's charging each side, which is four sides, about 1200 a month or more, and you take four from each side and he keeps eight, and nothing is vacant ever because you were doing a lead generation. I mean, like, what could they complain about? So these will be the keywords you will go after. Weekly apartment rentals, anything where people have to constantly pay to keep their spot. That's what you want to go after. You don't want to do real estate sales. You want to do rentals. OK, I always think rentals. Rentals have more money in, in the long term. It has more money. OK, look at this month to month lease agreements, meaning that is going to be somebody every month having to pay for that slot. OK, short term rentals, West Los Angeles. That's what you want. Apartment buildings and freaking like 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 month to month leases and short term stays and shared apartments and those type of keywords like that. So you just want to rank in this area right here. All right. And like I said, you could just reach out to me, ask me, David, but how would I go ahead and rank and everything like that? And I'll show you how to do the SEO and everything like that. OK, so this is how you can start your real estate staffing agency. Remember, when I say real estate staffing agency, I'm not talking about you dealing with realtors. You can deal with realtors if you want to, but uh, they're money hungry. And most of them like, like, you know, it's far easier to go and save somebody. Now, what do I mean by that? You can be a freaking rescue ranger, all right? You can literally go and save somebody. And this is what I love to do because they look at you like you're an you're, you're, uh, angel or something. Find people that are near foreclosure and don't really know what the hell to do. This right here can save them if you can tell them, look, I can turn your, your, your properties into like many hotels or many motels, all right? You're not going to put any money into anything like that. They can keep it fixed up and good and everything. And you can tell them. All right. So in case any of you want a script here, I'll just go ahead and tell you right now. So I don't have to email it to you later and you can rewind this video and watch it again. All right. So you just say, dear Mr. Landlord or uh, property owner or apartment builder owner. All right. I found your number or your email here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I know that you normally charge uh, 600 a month for this unit. But what if you could charge 600 per week? I have done this. Sorry about the texts while I'm freaking talking. All right. I have done this multiple times successfully in multiple different cities. And you have the perfect property that I've been researching. When is a good time for us to set this up? That's it. That's all. That's all. Like, literally. That's it, man. Like, who's going to turn that down? If they're only getting 600 per month, or some of them might not even be getting it. If you look for ones that are for rent, like constantly always talking about for rent, and everybody know those in the city. Like, you know those. You just drive by them all the time, and they're just always for rent. All right? So you look at those, and you contact them. You say, how much is this per month? And they tell you. And then you say, what if I could get you that per week? When would you like me to show you this? They're going to say immediately. Can we get on a phone or can you email me what you're talking about? Blah, blah, blah. And you're literally just going to go through the spill of what I'm talking about. Tell them that you do. You usually do real estate uh, marketing for agents and realtors and everything like that. But now you're trying to do it and go down to uh, the roots and actually help the the, the little man actually helped the landlord, helped the actual owners and everything like that. 
That's what you're going to tell them. And they're going to be like, hell yeah. Like, how do we set it up? Is there any investment involved and all of that? And then I'm going to leave that up to you. Me, I don't require any investments for a landlord or an apartment owner or anything like that to partner with me because I can get everything up and running. And it's super cheap to generate buyer and seller leads. You know that. If you've been doing marketing for clients and stuff, you know it's extremely cheap to get these damn real estate leads because people always need a place to stay or something like that, okay? So now, I don't have to really charge, okay? I don't have to charge him any damn thing out of pocket. And that's the good thing. That's why it's a get up and go business. And this is why it's so scalable and you can reach six figures this year easily, easily reach six figures just by staying in this niche. Just go ahead and just commit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and send all of you guys uh, all of you guys is watching this right now. There's stayed to the end. We're not even at the end yet, but I'm going to send you, uh, let me see. I'm going to send you all my templates. I'm going to send you my seller, uh, landing pages, like when I'm doing lead generation. Okay. So for seller leads and, and, and um, you know, how to get first time buyer leads and I'm going to get you renter leads and everything like that person that's uh, trying to rent out of home and everything like that. So you're going to get all of that stuff. I'm going to send you all of that stuff, transfer all of my automations and systems over to you completely free. Make sure if this is your first time watching me, you might want to go ahead and Netflix it up. Binge watch this channel, man. Go ahead and go back because I don't really like selling or trying to like convince people to do anything. So if you don't know me by now, you better hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and uh, go through one of those playlists and figure out who I am. That's what I'm telling you to do right now because this is something that nobody else is teaching, all right? And I want you to go ahead and make massive movements this year and become greater than you've ever been before. You can do this, man. Start a real estate staffing agency, okay? Just find hurting landlords. Uh, apartment buildings that just always have vacancies and everything like that. And you're good. You're literally just going to rank up in here. You know what I'm saying? With this, you're going to run a Facebook ad if you want to, but just ranking right in here can get it done. Just doing a ringless voicemail blast can get you people that want to rent a freaking apartment out. All right. So and remember, like once you're on Google with some of these search terms and stuff, that will be a long, uh, 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 that will be enough. And uh, other search terms are things like, uh, what do you call it? Extended stay. But we'll get into the motels in a different video. Today, we're just talking about landlords and apartment building owners, okay? Because they have multiple units. You only want to go with landlords that have at least five to 10 units, all right, with vacancies. And you literally, you can just either email them or you can have a VA call them. That's it. So you're like, David, have them. You know, call them. How will I call them? You can hire a bird dogger or you can do what's known as driving for dollars. All right. So what do I mean by that? You can hop in your whip and you can drive around neighborhoods that, you know, have a lot of for rent or for sale signs. Why do I say for sale? Because when uh, when they find out about this, most of them will not get rid of that house. People get rid of them houses because they, they don't think there's any money in it. But if you can turn that house into a, like a mini motel where it's just bringing crap load of money every single freaking month, ah, they'll take that for sale sign up as long as you use the script that I am going to give you guys today. So make sure you make a move today. Don't just be watching these videos. I want you to make a move and create your real estate staff and agency. This is not going to be the last time I talk about this. Matter of fact, this is OK. I'm going to start a challenge because I know that in 30 to I say 30 to we'll just give you 90. How about that one? I want to be nice. But 30 to 90 days, you guys can definitely be close, if not already at six figures by just creep in this niche. What you want to do is pick a niche and you just sit there and you just go hard with that. That's how I scaled up so fast because I didn't jump around when I figured out what was working. At the beginning of my journey, I did, but as I matured in entrepreneurship and I realized, hold on, that was working for me already. Why am I trying to do what Tony Robbins is doing? Why am I trying to come over here and speak? Why am I trying to do this and do that? F all that social media crap, dude. Whatever is working, 
like just zone in and go hard with that and this right here can take you guys to the next level with whatever you're doing just make a real estate staffing agency this is something you can do right now some of you guys know um matter of fact all of you guys <laughs> everybody watching this can do this why because all of you live somewhere this is one of the niches where everybody can actually do this for real for real because you might be renting from somebody right now that got more vacancies you might be renting you might be living in an apartment complex right now and all you have to do is go down to the office you see what i'm saying or send an email to the, to the manager I'm like look this is what i do for a living you guys didn't know i do this so i'm about to start doing this for you guys literally filling up the buildings okay what other what other um you know properties do you have around the city oh you guys own them apartment complexes too oh we about to make some money all right so the thing is you're not just filling up their vacancies and getting paid one off that would be drop shipping you're getting monthly as long as a person is continuing their services or their uh, continuing to fill up and continuing to rent out that property you're getting paid so think of the compound interest think of the compound earnings of that like okay you got two people this month but they're still going to be living there like people don't move that much you know what i'm saying they're still going to be living there for years to come so every time you get somebody new this is your hack this is your hack of doing um real estate rentals without actually owning the property because most people go around the other way that's why i love the internet all right most people go ahead and save up some money uh do a fixer upper and then they start trying to rent it out who got time for that that could take years ain't nobody got all day for that all right now you can just deal with people that already have stuff fixed up open available move in ready all right and ready to make some damn money and you can just jump in line jump ahead in line right why be at the back of the line or even at the middle of the line when you could jump in the front of the line and this is what i'm trying to teach you guys here with real estate okay so your real estate staffing agency you're literally just going to uh and another little hack because if you're like okay well how do i reach out to a crap load of um um landlords at one time well everybody has uh what is called uh welfare agencies in their city a lot of you guys might not know of that because you come from a privileged background some of you but everybody has what is called uh the section eight or housing authority in their city and guess what if you're watching this right now and you come from a background similar to mine i can guarantee you that have if not almost all of your family members are living on housing right now so you can actually use that as an advantage now so what do i mean you can literally have one of your relatives go down to the staffing uh, not staffing to the housing authority office or the section 8 building and say i'm thinking about renewing my voucher next year yeah uh, and i might want to move to a different location can you give me a list of available landlords they're going to give you a list of available landlords that deal with section eight and it's going to be a list of that's a little hack for anybody to do real estate period if you if you're looking for a list of buyers <laughs> and sellers because a lot of those landlords are up in age and they want to get rid of them damn properties anyway so you can if you're if you're looking for buyers or sellers that list right there is gold all right so don't test me because david got like a wealth of knowledge man all right so make sure you guys are freaking like putting this stuff to action all right so you can literally get a free list of landlords from the freaking housing authorities in section eight you can act like you going down there to apply the section eight like look i want to go look at the properties first to see what was good and everything and they'll just give you they'll just print it out and get you usually they already have it printed out and they'll just give you the packet and you can just literally ride past the uh, the properties or if you don't feel like doing that you can just contact them and then you don't even have to cold call if you guys have watched any of my other videos you know what a ringless voicemail blast is you can take all of the numbers put them into the ringless voicemail system that i've shown you and you can just voicemail 
hundreds of numbers at one time. They'll all get the same voicemail with the push of a damn button. Then they'll all call back and leave you a voicemail whether they want to go with it or whether they don't want to go with it. And reaching out to them all at one time will save time and you'll get your answer quicker, which will have a crap load of yeses. And why is that powerful? Because if you get, the more partners you got, the more money you can make. All right. So if one is booked to capacity, that means you don't have to stop your freaking marketing, your lead generation. You can just send the next one people. You can send the next one people. You can send the next one tenants. So you're just literally filling up tenants all over the world. And this is scalable throughout the world. Any country, don't matter where the hell you're at, I might be opening up drop servicing on Mars next. All right. Now I'm, go, I'm just you know, messing around. But anyway, my point is, it doesn't matter what city you do this in. It does not matter. This is one of the niches that is freaking like like universal and like. Remember those reversible jackets? Like it, it, you can wear it inside out and it still look good. This is that. Like it doesn't matter like how you flip this and what city is in or what language you speak. People always need somewhere to live, no matter where you're at. So real estate will never go out, no matter how people try to change it or whatever. Now we're putting drop servicing on it, but it's still going to be real estate and you can still make a crap load of money out of it no matter what market you're in. Trust me. All right. So as long as you know how to do lead generation like I teach you and remember, I will send you my cell. Matter of fact, let me show you. All right. So this is how you find people trying to sell their homes. And all you'll do is reverse market to them. Okay, let me. All right, seller lead. There is a seller lead numbers. All right, real estate seller lead. All right. City name. How much can I pay you? We want to buy your house ASAP, blah, 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 asking price. All right, so what we do with this is if we're doing lead generation for actual realtors and trying to like buy people's houses for real, this works like crazy, but it also works like crazy for drop servicing real estate. So what do I mean? When they when we ask them how much can we pay and uh, they, they respond with their asking price and we'll hit them back and we'll say something like, ah, I don't think I can get you that, but I can get you more. <laughs> I don't think I can get you what you asked for, but I can get you more. Boom. Like the, the freaking hairs on the back of their neck and head and all of that starts like tingling and standing up and they're like, hold up. What do you mean you can give me more? And then that's when we just send them the pitch that I told you guys earlier. Instead of you getting rid of this property, thinking that it's not, it's not worth anything. You can make way more than what you're trying to get off of this within the next two years, like just easily, easily. Instead of you getting paid monthly, you can get paid what you were charging monthly to the tenants weekly. And they immediately say, can I, can you tell me more? Can we set up some kind of meeting and talk about this? Blah, 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 blah. And there you guys go. I will send you this real estate seller leads ad. All right. So all you have to do, and I'm going to send you the landing pages and, and funnels, all of that extra stuff, blah, blah, blah. All of that marketing stuff, I'm going to send you. That way you don't have to spend time uh, fixing things up. I'm going to send you the, uh, where you can, the guy that I actually went to to like have build my directories and all of that stuff like that. And it's very simple, man. You just put your properties that are available on your directory site just like this. And when people contact, email or call in or whatever, you literally just take your cut off of it. Like they can literally book or rent from the site. They can rent from the site, man. Like this is the most autopilot stuff anybody's ever teaching you guys. I want you guys to take action. Okay. Is a link in the description of this video right now. Okay, you just set up an a, a freaking account, and I will transfer all of my automations and systems over to you. Some of you are like what automations? You didn't show us anything. That's because it's your first time to this channel, and you can go through my playlist. Go through my playlist. I'm going to link to my playlist below and at the end screen of this video. 
All right, go to my playlist and you'll see all of my systems and automations. I'm very transparent on this channel. I don't hide anything. I show you guys everything that I do, everything that works, even the stuff that don't work that well. I'm, I think I'm going to start doing like a lot of videos of failures and stuff. So you guys don't go that route. OK, because I want to be like the realest uh, uh, person on here teaching you guys. All right. So that you can ensure your success instead of rolling the dice. This one. Is one of those assurance, uh, you know what I'm trying to damn say. All right, so right here, everybody knows that everybody needs a place to live. So you should, your your ears should be perked up right now. You know that everybody needs somewhere to live. So this can be lucrative for you. You literally make your little uh, deal with the the landlords or the apartment building owners. You put their p images of the properties on here, and you bump up their rental prices. And people will come here once you start driving traffic from ranking for search terms like this and running those Facebook ads that I'm going to transfer over to you when you make your account. And then your chat bots and your Instagram autoresponders and your iMacro software will be doing all of the lead generation on autopilot for you all damn day. And you can just have all your partners booked up to capacity, move to the next city, scale this up to seven figures. All right, it's not difficult. So if you've been wondering which niche should you go through, like I, every day I come and expose a lot of my niches, all right? But one of my most lucrative niches, and it continues to be the top no matter what luxury when I go in, is real estate because it's just evergreen. Like it will never be a time. Even if we start living in, in in sand castles like <laughs> you still it's still gonna be somebody walking past saying hey you know if, uh this sand castle has four rooms in it it doesn't even get that much sand in there when we have a sand storm so this is perfect for you you're gonna have to pay this blah 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 a little bit of sarcasm you know what i'm saying but that's what i'm trying to tell you this is not going anywhere so if you want an, a long-term plan right here real estate is it and if you don't want to have to have a license or anything, that's what it is. You don't have to have a license. You don't have to get go to any type of schooling or anything. You can literally set this up within the next 24 hours and be profitable before the week is out. And can I guarantee that? I can't guarantee that if your ass just sit there and watch this video and move on and don't do anything, you're going to make any money. But I'll just tell you this. When you make moves with what I tell you to do and you actually do them instead of theorize and just say, oh, that sounds cool or something like that. When you do what David tells you to do, then it works. It, it, I'm just going to say that right there. And anybody can battle me if they want to. Like it, it works. OK, like I'm a, I'm, I'm a very honest dude and I care a lot about y'all. That's why I do this. That's why you see me uploading a lot. It's not. It ain't like I'm monetizing. I'm getting a crap load of AdSense money. Even that, that's chump change any damn way compared to what I do. So I'm, I'm bring, literally bringing you guys everything, everything. Hopefully you guys understand and appreciate it. And hopefully you guys, I have faith that you're gonna make moves. Like I can, I can see that a lot of you guys are gonna make moves, especially with this one right here. Real estate is something that you're familiar with, whether you done it before or whether you just live in the house you know you still know that real estate is real so this is not some fantasy make money online hack or some crap like that all right so that's why i wanted to bring this to you you guys are going to enjoy the next one the next one we're going over hotels and motels uh which is still a form of real estate but it's in a different industry it's in the hospitality niche all right and i'm going to show you how to pretty much just be the Airbnb of your city drop servicing, all right? Drop servicing hotel rooms, motel rooms, and how to easily do it, how to scale up completely and, and, and completely dominate the area using things like SEO that you already know how to do, Facebook ads, uh, free lead generation tactics that other people aren't teaching. You're not going to want to miss that. So make sure you subscribe before you leave this video right now. And make sure you text me on that number that you see in the description. If you open the, if you're watching this from a video, you have to click the little show more thing or something like that under the video and you'll see the link right there. You just go and make your account and then you text that number that you see in there as well. And David is just going to have everything 
transferred over to you. All my systems, chatbots, automations, all of that, I'm going to have all of that transferred over to you. That way you can be set up in the next 24 hours and profitable by the end of next week. I'm just telling you, today is Friday. You're about to go and spend your check. David ain't charging you anything to teach you this or anything like that. The best thing you can do is invest your check on your damn self so that next week you're not sitting around watching YouTube videos. Next week, you're too busy to talk to me. Next week, you're just sending me a message saying, David, look how much I made already. And it's only my first damn week. Look at this. Like all of these landlords want to work with me. All of these freaking uh, people want to want to do business with me. I've had this pen this many people rent. I've had this many people rent. I thought it was going to take this long. How the hell are we getting rentals already? Because this works. People are always looking for somewhere to rent out. Okay? And landlords are always with vacancies. Okay? So you guys just make a move. Please make a move. I'm pretty much just almost to the point where I'm begging you guys. Because I see a lot of you, uh, the same people on multiple of my videos. I appreciate the support and all of that, but I'm not trying to become a, a movie a star. I'm not trying to become um, a Netflix star or a Netflix original or somebody that you just enjoy watching day to day. That's why I'm not even showing my face right now on this video. Like, yeah, I need a rest. All right. So like, that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is become like like the example of action for you guys. I want you guys to act. I, I want to be an action star. How about that? No, <laughs> but I want you guys to actually like say, David, like I'm I'm up there with you or I'm trying to get there or I'm doing this too. Like I watched the video and I just actually started doing it and now I'm killing it, man. Damn, you were right. All I had to do was do it instead of just sat there and watch it. Stop watching testimonials and become one. That is what I say. OK, stop watching testimonials and become one. All right. So you guys can make a move this week. It's Friday. Next Friday can look totally different from you. I'm not saying you're going to be rich by Friday. Please don't try to twist my words and be dumb. All right. But you can definitely have your first rental out. You can definitely have your first booking by next Friday. Definitely have a couple hundred dollars in your pocket or even a thousand or more. That damn easy. And the good thing about it is it will all be systematized and on autopilot, effortless, effort, effortless cash is what I'm trying to say. All right. Tongue twisted on that mug, right? All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why the hell. It was just snowing here and now it's raining. And oh, God. yeah, I got to get out of this place right here. I, this is not where I am keeping the nest at. We about to get up out of here. Speaking of real estate. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, but please just make a move, okay? Make a move. I'm not going to leave you alone. As you can see, I respond to every freaking comment. If you go to all my videos, you'll just see there's no comment I left unanswered. And when you text that number, my assistant always answers back. When you uh, uh, message on Facebook, we always answer back. So you're not left alone. I don't have a course or anything created for drop servicing. So I'm not trying to profit off of you guys. This is all free information and everything like that. Uh, even though people keep asking me, David, 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 when are you going to make a drop service? Of course, I told you guys I'm on bigger stuff. I'm building my school out like a real school, not a, not, not a course. OK, but y'all keep begging for it. I might have to make one because y'all making it seem like, yeah, I'm just, just going to like it's going to be bought off the chef and I'm a, I look like I got a record deal or something, you know? So y'all keep asking for it. I might go ahead and drop one. But right now I don't have no drop service, of course. When when uh you when you start today, I am going to send you around six or seven videos. I guess you can consider that a course, but I don't charge anything for them. And it's just setting, it's just uh, instructions setting everything up and getting going. And then I'm going to transfer everything, all of my templates, my ads and everything over to you so you can be fully set up looking like you're a professional in the middle of the damn week. OK, so go ahead. If you watch this to end, go ahead and make a move, man. Like, don't be afraid. Don't be hesitant. Don't say I need to watch one more of your videos, Dave. Why? I'm going to say the same sh in the next video. Trust me make a move okay the link is in the description don't hold yourself back be like switch 
hey word of the year is investment all right i want you guys to start making investments in yourself broke people worry about being broke people that want to be wealthy worry about what else they can invest in that's going to bring them more okay so you should have a scope out every day like a damn sniper looking for investments on purpose what i don't want to hold on to this money it's burning a hole in my pocket what can i put it in what can i throw this money at that's going to throw some more back at me and i can throw it out again what the hell can i invest in and the best thing you can invest in is your damn self your systems and processes your softwares your tools to get the job done all right and i have all of that i'm going to transfer over to you with a push of a freaking few buttons you're going to be completely set up to where you can start drop servicing your drop service real estate staffing agency right now you're going to get the scripts that i use to go after these landlords and apartment building owners and everything like that they make a killing man you guys can hit six figures this year or more all right depending on how hungry you are you can guys my name's terrell i've been in uh david's program for about a month um i just closed my first deal last week for about twelve hundred dollars um, we have another one coming up for about another 1200. I'm so excited to be part of his group. It, it's truly, it's been incredible. Like the calls, just everything, everything that I'm learning from the SEO to just how to market, just a completely different spin on business. Or I, I'm, I'm on a little walk right now. Um, but it's a completely different spin on business. I appreciate him so much. He's so knowledgeable, such a great guy to have in your corner. Um, yeah, he's been probably one of the best mentors I've ever had. I've only been been around him for a month, but just the knowledge, the game that you get from him is incredible. Um, I mean, you can use these skills in any other business to really help scale and lever and leverage leverage yourself. I know he's big on leverage, and I'm myself. I'm learning all about leverage, so it's been it's been a absolute game changer to be in his program. So I would get in his program ASAP because you're missing out on a lot of money out there. People are leaving a lot of meat on the bone. And guys, that the guys and girls that are in this program are going to be feasting off of it. So I'd get in the program ASAP if I were you. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right. So in this video, we're going to answer why the drop service in real estate seems to be so hard for a lot of you guys. OK, I'm in Mexico right now and I am still making a killing off of all of my drop service and properties. Why? Because they are Internet based. OK, so you can do this from anywhere to answer a few of you guys' questions. Also, so why is drop service in real estate difficult for you guys? And this is why I tell you guys to start in certain niches uh, versus others. You should start in the niches where you don't have any wait time or anything like that. Well, real estate is difficult for you guys because you're not implementing everything that I teach you inside the course. You're nitpicking and you're choosing which things you want to do, such as if I say put up a Facebook ad, most of you guys aren't. You're just waiting for uh, your ranking in the snack pack, so you can't really get upset if you're not making money immediately with drop service and if you choose a niche where uh, you have to wait for your google my business uh listening to rank and you see that pandemic is going on right now and google is acting very slow with the google my business listings you need to learn how to pivot transform and and, and adapt okay like <laughs> if the snack pack isn't working naturally you, you should say well what's another traffic source that i can utilize for now okay i know we all want free traffic well guess what i give you guys access to a whole seo section in the school okay when you get in the godfather drop service and you have the ability to rank not only in the snack pack but organically in the organic rankings using press release and all of those things those haven't changed at all during, during the pandemic or not okay those algorithms still work so it's things that you can rank for you guys aren't ranking for the right keywords either you're still trying to rank for stuff like realtor and all of that why would you be trying to rank for a realtor when you're not a realtor you're a drop servicer or a wholesaler you're more close to being a wholesaler okay so you will want to rank for wholesalers you will want to rank for uh sell my house uh buy my house companies that buy houses in this city all right um 
how, uh, and if you're trying to get buyer leads, homes for sale in this city, blah, blah, blah. I have a whole keyword research um, section that you guys can use to get the best keywords to rank for so that you can get these leads organically for free and everything on Google. But you also have Facebook ads that I let you uh, use my templates. You can just plug them in. All right. And a lot of you guys aren't using that. We get on the coaching calls and I ask you guys what you're doing. And a lot of you guys tell me about your work schedule or, or oh, I just forgot or, you know, I've been watching Netflix. Look, it's not my business, but you paid money to get into a course. It's just like people that go to college and rack up debt and they just be in the dorms having parties and stuff. That don't make any sense, man. You know what I'm saying? We not we don't we don't get younger, we only get older. So now is the time for you guys to start taking action into the things that you invest in. You invested in the Godfather Drop Service and for a reason. Now you need to be relentless, you need to be vicious, you need to be, you know. You, you can't bend to the will of your procrastination or your hesitation, okay? So you, you got to kill it because it only takes a few deals for your life to change, literally, all right? So if you're afraid of going all the way with these drop service and deals, you can do stuff like deal brokering, okay? You can get in a real estate revenue hacks course and you will learn deal broker, all right, where you just get the contract and you broker it. Okay, and, and you sell the contract. You don't even have to do the whole finding a buyer thing or any of that stuff. So you're not drop service in real estate right now because you're not literally going through the content. A lot of you guys, when you go into a course, you watch the course the same way you watch YouTube. You watch the video and you move on to the next section. No, you have to think of the courses as school. I know a lot of us hated school, but this is a school that can make you money at least instead of putting you in debt and you waiting years to profit, you can actually make money from this school. So, I mean, come on, y'all. <laughs> come on, man. Like, drop service in real estate is not hard at all. It is not difficult. Okay, so what I need you guys to realize is you can do this. And if you're new to this channel, you need to go into the Godfather of Drop Service and now go straight into the section where you have to pick your niche. Once you pick your niche, you get started. You don't even need a website. I teach you how to uh, program automatic chatbots to, you know, uh, do follow up and you can do the 12 month text voice email sequence and put in a $5 a day Facebook ad and start getting deals closed okay literally five dollars a day if you guys are afraid of facebook ads just start with five five dollars a day you can always cut it off if it starts getting expensive don't be afraid you need traffic i always tell you guys traffic plus irresistible offer equals money it's not that difficult traffic plus irresistible offer equals money so this is why you guys are not closing these real estate deals you're not producing enough traffic and then you need to make sure your irresistible offer is bulletproof and then you need to just go ahead and close man like the good thing is the good thing about it is in the revenue uh, hacks course the real estate revenue hacks course we have multiple ways for you to make a killing in real estate it's not just drop servicing it's not just wholesaling you can start a real estate staff agency where you can it's completely hands off and realtors and wholesalers do all the work and you just get a piece it's it's genius man so it's no excuses why you're not making real uh, real estate money okay so i want you guys to go ahead and take initiative and make a killing with this mug now this was not me trying to bash or or scold or anything i just want you guys to this generation is so soft, man. Like you got to put your sensitivities aside. You have to put, you know, your, but what of this or what of that? You got to put that stuff aside. You got to put it aside and kill it for your family. Kill it for yourself. Kill it for your people. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, what are you going to do? Nobody cares about you. Except for maybe me, but <laughs> the world doesn't care about you. So what are you going to do? You have to have your back against the wall, all right? Like a squirrel corner. That mug going to hop out and attack. You know what I'm saying? It might run, but when you back that mug into a corner, that squirrel going to jump in your face and scratch you up, right? All right, so that's how you got to be with this entrepreneurship. You can't have excuses. You got to kill it. All right, love you guys.
Oh, so she answered back. Frederica answered back. So let's hurry up and get back to her while she's hey. online. All right. So after we get a couple of these going, I'm going to move you over to a niche that was really killing it for me at the beginning. And that is the morning around the same time we will follow up with her so that you can collect payment. The moving. What? Okay. Is your ad active now? I uh, got something in my phone. Go to the ad manager to the left. <clears throat> okay, it's not active. Stroll over to the right. Right. All right. It says you are getting ten dollars a lead, which we beat. That means you beat the thumbtack cost per lead. Three leads. Um, go to your billing section real billing. quick. Uh, where do I find billing? Uh, to the left menu. Menu. All the way to the left menu. Left over over there. Yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah. You just opened it up. Yeah. Billing and payments. We weren't able to process your payment. Pay the amount to run ads again. Don't do that while we're on here. Uh, wait till we get off. All right. This needs okay. to be. I know you uh, have other ventures. I really don't know too much about what you what else you do, but I I, I want um I want you to consider uh, spending more time in here uh, because just like on Thumbtack, no matter where we go, leads get cold. Right. Even if they search you out, they're going to get cold if they're not like uh, responded to in a certain amount of time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set you guys up with a chat bot okay. that that will help with this. Um, but I, I need need y'all to be inside your dashboards more often, especially if you're running traffic, because when they come in, they they want to answer. They're going to say hello. Hello. A couple times and then they're just going to disappear then you're going to try to respond to them a couple days later and they're going to be like man forget all that okay so let's go over uh back to the regular facebook and check the messages you can just uh type facebook.com in a browser okay. all right yeah let's go to the messages okay so their birthday is october 1st 2nd so it's actually yeah okay that's not a bad that's not a bad deal right there. Okay. But they forgot to tell us how many hours they need and how many passengers. Okay. So when did this come in? That came in. Was that today? Okay. Uh, 8 54 a.m. today. <clears throat> All right. So the ad must have just turned off, I guess. I don't I don't know. All right. So send them a message. This is send them a message. Uh, they didn't tell us how many hours or how many people. So that's the only thing we can we can ask them. You say, no, 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 you don't need the rest of that right now because they didn't they didn't give us any information. So just ask them, OK, I'm trying to give you a good deal, but I need to know how many passengers and how many hours you will need for your birthday, please. <laughs> your, could you share? Could you please? The number, number of hours, number and the number of hours. Okay, so you got it. Yes, you can send that off. <coughs> okay. All right. So the next person, India, mm -hmm. he wants four hours. Very good. Fifteen people. So you can go to your your sheet and give her a quote. <coughs> oh, here. Okay. I was gonna say, where do you see? Okay, I see it. fifteen people, four hours. Um, let's see. Oh, my thing open up in a different window. Let's say pricing that down here. Fifteen people. <laughs> yeah. That's a fifteen passenger, so they can't fit in the sprinter. It would have to be the twenty nine passenger for the four hour block. And she wants flowers, so cool. Yeah, there we go. So you Is that their price or that my price? You better be sure. He said what? I was thinking out loud. Is that their price or my price? Uh, this, That's their price. That's the this price. Is their price. price. Okay, so, I'll give. Them, yeah, you get that. Give them this, this. Uh, it's my letter here. Oh, they're down here. Okay, so he wants four hours. How are you feeling? Huh? How are you feeling? I'm all right. Thanks. It's just uh, where I'm at. Yeah, it's just all different types of stuff, like pollen and weird, weird crap. I'm not used to. How's the weather? Yeah, yeah, it's been raining like crazy all day, all type of stuff. But I'm all right. Thanks for asking, though. No problem. 
On top of that, we already did it for our there was she give a date October October one. Yeah, fifteen passengers. You say fifteen exactly? Okay, fifteen. I was gonna say fifteen plus. October one. Let's do this. Long. Oh, so she answered back. Frederica answered back. So let's hurry up and get back to her while she's online. How do you see that? Oh. Yeah. Over there in the messages. Uh, you don't see it? Right there to the Oh, list. here. Okay. All right. Say, okay, one moment. Stay online. Tell her that. Uh, six hours, 15 yeah, Tell her to stay online one moment. Yeah, I did. Oh, you mm -hmm. just did. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the calculations going. Six hours, 15 people. 15, so it's the same uh, same size, but 15. There's my calculator. <coughs> it's the same size, but six. <clears throat> Number calculator. Okay, so it's only four. And then 44 plus 266. 774 plus 266. That's 1040 is what they will charge. 1040. 1500. You can see 1040, but just 1500 will do it. Frederica, Frederica, um, it's about six up. Uh, where's her date? October 2, close. Okay, oh, so uh, we guess uh, for your special location. <coughs> and look this special in. Okay, the uh, 10 passenger for two hours. It got to be a four hour. We want to do a four hour minimum. <coughs> Let them know it has to be a four hour minimum. <coughs> they don't have to stay the whole four hours, but they'll be charged for four hours. So you can say we charge for a four hour minimum. <coughs> um, All right. So it's a 10 passenger. So that means they can get one of those sprinters. So it'll be a little bit cheaper for them. <coughs> um. Do I need to call no, them yet? No, or just no, 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 no. Don't say let us know if this works for you. You want to always assume right. that it works for them. Okay, so okay. let's go ahead and get what the four hour minimum is for them. All right. Uh, 10 passenger. Let's see here. 35. 13. 13. 122 per hour. Three. Yeah. 122. So I, would probably do the same. I would do the same that you got for the 14 up there at the 950. Okay. Uh, or uh, 10 people. 10 plus 4. 10. Wow, Frederica is very active. She's she's in the back real good. I see that. I just like coming for the 10 passenger. Uh, it would be 950. Good or. Let me say anything else in addition to that. Internet. Not today, internet. What do you, hello, you're back? Okay. What do you think? You may, um, do I need to say anything more? I just say, uh, uh, you say what? Do I need to say anything more? I just told them it's 954. Just 10 say, yeah, yeah. You want to say, um, we will, we could allow you to put pay in full today, or you can put down a deposit as small as a hundred bucks to lock this deal in, which is best for you. Okay. All right. Copy that last sentence, uh, the last <laughs> part right there, because you're going to say the same thing to Frederica. Yep. Copy that. Now, let's see I what really she wants. I really want to do. Don't, don't paste it yet. Let's see what she said first. Okay. I really want to do the bus ride on the 5th because that's my a weekend. My birthday is during the weekday. Is that possible? What is the 5th? The 5th of what? What's the, what, <laughs> month, what, what month is our birthday in? What go go up? No 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 go up. What was our message? Our missile uh, initial message. October. October okay. two. Okay. October. So October fifth. So, let me look on the. Let me bring it up. On, actually, let's bring it up on the screen here. October That's five is Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Did you did you quote her for a Saturday? Yeah. Uh, I think I did quote her for Saturday, but just be sure. Okay, so she fifteen hundred. <laughs> I went here. And I added, just tacked it on to make it round. No, 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 no. She, she got, we already gave her a price, 1500 Yes. 
Six I'm, just, hour block. I'm just saying this is the price I went by. I just okay. Added. Tell her yes, we can do that. We can do that. That's a Saturday. We can do that. But she must lock it in today to save that date and this deal. All right. Now, paste in the last part from the last person message. All right. Let's do this. Right. Send it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So well, she just let's see that. She stay online. huh? So if I don't get, how do I see the, this, all this that I'm looking at? How did I get here? What do you mean? If I'm in regular Facebook, will I be seeing messages coming in? Okay, so this is Facebook. Yeah. Look over here. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. Click on where it says Facebook comments because sometimes leads are in there. They don't pay attention and send a message. Scroll down. Scroll. Okay. It says there are no user comments. All right. Click back on the messenger tab. Messenger. All right, well, we'll get back to this, see what she decides. Now, open up Google. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> We're going to set up the Google ad. Um, that in that same browser. I'm opening my Google account. Which one is this? Uh, which account do I want to use? I don't know. It's just kind of going like that. Where is this guy? Uh, okay, I'm inside. All right, type in Google ads. <laughs> You're going to add. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Just click on the first link. <coughs> Sign in. All right. Uh, new account. You do not have. Would you like to pick one? New account. New. Oh, okay. I thought you said no account. <coughs> All right. Create. All right. Take a pause for the calls. Go back in that other tab. Let's check to see what the girl said. Let's go over here. I can put down something tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Perfect. What is your email and phone number so that I can confirm with you? And what is the total you'll be putting down tomorrow? Um, I'm real, man. <coughs> Authentic. Yes, I am. But I'm serious, though. <laughs> Hey, there's no water. I am drinking water. That don't do nothing for Flynn. All right. What is your email and phone number so that I can confirm with you? How much would you be putting down tomorrow? Okay. Yep. That's good. She was giving good vibes because she answered back super fast. All right. Now we can go back over to Google. <coughs> it's all about business. Okay. <coughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's Tony Braxton's birthday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> How do you know Tony Braxton's birthday? How do I know Tony Braxton's birthday? By heart. By heart, cause it was a oh, not just cause of that. I used, yeah, I liked her, but nah, I know Snoop Dogg's birthday. Snoop Dogg's birthday is my birthday, October twenty first. Okay, so it ain't got nothing to do with the fact that I used to be in love with her. Um, <laughs> whose birthday is the fourth? It's somebody else's birthday that's the fourth. Nah. Um, I don't know. I think I was looking it up a long time ago. How, whose birthday is this? I can't remember. I have no idea, man. I just gotcha. remember that just stuck stuck to me. It could have been in one of these little campaigns, you know, <laughs> one, one of these little birthday uh, campaigns and stuff I'll be doing on here. All right. So what is your business name? You're just going to put, you know, the business name for the party bus. <laughs> or right there you see it says optional let's go ahead and not put that don't let's not put that because that that might be a mistake a little bit later on if you want to run ads to a different business so just put okay. your name in there put your name in there <laughs> you're gonna work out yeah hook that up for me so i can do a, little, a couple of them when i get out with you technically you can do it when you get down with that if you feel like it i don't know it's <laughs> Okay, and what is the number for confirmation? Oh. Ask mm -hmm. her what's the number for confirmation. Hold up. Mm -hmm. That's in case she, uh, you know, we have a cancellation or something. What is the number? Just in case we have. Uh, hold on, we got to make this good because <laughs> okay. we don't want to think we blowing up our phone. Uh, what is your number? Just in case we have. Uh, what is it called? A price decrease. Just in case we have a price decrease as we get closer to the date. Excuse me, have a price. Question mark. Let me see, right. let me see she wasn't okay. trying to give you the number or she would have answered back with that too. <laughs> so sometimes we got to work a little bit. 
you know, the more information they give you, the more serious it becomes, not just for you, but becomes for them. All right. So every little decision they make is a, a micro commitments. That's what we call a micro commitment. So the more we yeah. can get them to give us, the more serious they'll be about it. If she can put down anything tomorrow. It'll become real. It'll become real in our mind. So yeah. we, that's why I say, hey, put down whatever, because then they'll, you know, mo that's more likely they'll come back and pay the rest later. All right. <clears throat> that means, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That means they are now invested. Yeah, now they're invested. Not just financially, but mentally as well. All right, let's go over there and put up this Google ad real quick. Okay. <clears throat> what is this thing I'm using? Okay. All right. So where should people go after clicking your ad? We're not going to put your website in there right now. Just click next. Okay. Jesus. Uh. All right, go ahead and put it in there. Airtime. Can I put, can I put a uh, um, <coughs> Facebook, Facebook link? Nah, I put Go ahead and put your party bus in there. They be trying to like get too much information out of you at the beginning. <coughs> oh, look at me being a hypocrite. We just asked the girl for her <laughs> information. <laughs> Let me uh, check this to be sure. <laughs> I don't butcher my own name. I think it's correct. I need to optimize this. This is taking too long unless internet is acting. Goodness. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Nope. Yeah, just click next. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna skip this stuff. Scroll down, and skip. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna uh, scroll down. Oh, should I have said skip? Next, skip. Same thing, pretty much. Okay. All right. So, in some words, I don't think they'll let us get past this. Just type in party bus. This is all new stuff that I just had to deal with the other day with the other brother <clears throat> on on our one-on-one -on -one session. All these little new okay. things they got. Go ahead and click next. Do I need to put city up there? Nah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what products or services are you advertising in this campaign? Delete or is says car rental services? <coughs> um, put party bus in there. I think I hit All the comma. Right. Uh, no, yes. no comma. Okay. Just press enter. Okay. All right. Scroll down. <coughs> what makes your products or services unique? Uh, you can go and get a a little bit of the description from your website if you want to. Yeah, we put that in there right there. All right. All right, scroll down. Okay, so we're going to select pages and uncheck all of those. See, this is where they're trying to plug in a little stupid AI now. Okay. Oh. Yeah, go ahead and shoot. I guess you can just skip. All right, so this is the part where we can't skip. We got to actually put stuff for this part. Okay. Scroll down a little bit. Scroll down. It's the bottom of it. Yeah. I hate this. I like to go straight to the damn ad. All right. So what we're going to do, go up where it says headline in that first one, we're going to put put uh, Baltimore party bus available. Mm -hmm. And then the second headline, you're going to put 10% off all future trips. Sure. Oops. And the next one, you're going to put Party bus includes vacation if it fits. Nice. All right. And then you're going to put um, party bus includes um, restaurant. Hold on. No, no, no. Put $300 restaurant voucher included. I don't know if they're going to let you put the dollar sign in there. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Put the word include. Hmm. Who does that? 30. <laughs> you can say food Plus. voucher. <laughs> All right. It can take three. Then it means I can put U.S. Stop with the dollar sign in there. Uh, let's see. This is like you're saying <laughs> 300 food vouchers. <laughs> All right. Headline. The next headline you're going to put. <clears throat> you're going to put uh, C, your party bus. All right. Look, they got you putting all these damn headlines. This is super annoying. All right. Scroll down a little bit so I can see how many more are there. Do they just keep popping up with more, or is it like always? It like it says that? here that I guess you have up to thirty to add. Okay. Um, right? <laughs> see, book your party bus. Am I drunk? You see it pop up? Okay, this is the last one we put. Book your party bus mm -hmm. on site. All right. uh, capitalize on site, not the entire word, just the O and the S, and separate, separate. Yeah. All right. All right. 
Now, right, scroll down, because I'm pretty sure we don't need no more damn headlines. <coughs> All right, so descriptions, scroll down. Let me see how many they got for damn descriptions. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, these new little stupid AI looking AI ads. It's a 60 All right. word so, and a 90 word. Okay, so for the short description, we're just going to put the offer in there. We're going to say, book your Baltimore. Your, no, you're going to say your Baltimore party bus. That includes 10% off all future bookings. All right, we ran out of uh, space. So we'll say book your Baltimore party bus for 10% off all future bookings. No, you ain't got to delete that. Just delete the word that includes. Or? Yeah, 10% off all future bookings, if you can put that on there. Ah, okay. Yes. So all future trips. To say all future trips. <laughs> okay, now. In the second description, put your booking includes the three hundred dollar restaurant voucher for you. Uh, oh, restaurant voucher plus. You see how I keep on popping up with anyway restaurant voucher for you to eat while on the town, while out on the town. All right, and the last one, put your party bus includes a complimentary vacation for you and your friends. <clears throat> All right, that's the last one for the description. <laughs> right. going to keep popping up with more description. Okay. Um, all right, so images. We're going to add a couple images from your party bus stuff. Click the blue plus right there. Just upload. No, 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 no. Click upload. Yeah. Upload down. <clears throat> you have selected 20 images. Too. Hey, you have selected all 20. Why you select 20 images? Is that up to 20? Where's my mouse? Uh, where's my... Oh, it's open over there. Let me go check. I selected all the pictures. I didn't think they were up to 20. You got 20 party bus pictures? I don't think I do have 20. Let's go back. Where is this party bus? Okay, we need to delete all that. Go back over to the ad so we can delete whatever that is. Uncheck all of that. Click on, click on cancel. Click on cancel. There we go. Okay. None of your images are selected because we can determine the best aspect ratio for cropping. Click each image to crop it manually. Nope. Click cancel. All right. Let's see if we can just go past this part. Scroll down. <clears throat> Click on call, call to action. Call to action. Click it again. Click where it says automated. Um, con uh, learn more. All right. All right. Click next. Jesus. Okay. Scroll down. All right. They want a long headline. So. Just copy that headline that you got right up under the bottom. Uh, the one right up under that. Yep. And put that up in that slot. All right. Now let's see if we can go. Uh, we don't need that. Just let's click next. Hold on. What else is that? At least one logo is required. Click there and add your logo. Big as a file. Should not be taking that long. Click on the ad that you chose. I mean, click on the image that you chose. Click the little... Um, the little search button box uh thingy over it. Yeah. Looks like that's it. That's no, that's not big at all. I can shrink it down if that's the problem. Use my internet that week. Click on suggested. Suggestion? Where is that? Suggested. Click on suggested. Uh, oh here. Click on website or social. All right. We found URLs that you can scan. Click on scan. Scroll down. Yeah. Show your Facebook. No images found. Yeah, right. Okay, scroll down. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, let me see. Quick save images. At least one landscape image. Okay, let's let's do that. Jesus Christ. Go to free stock images. Free stock. Where are they? Okay, let me see if this will work. All right. Okay. Click on edit. Where? Edit for images. Edit. Yeah. Click on free stock images to the to the right. Yeah. All right. Put in party bus in there. All right. Yeah. Let's get let's get one of them. Select. All right, this. save. Okay, confirm. All right, show down. All right, click next. There we go. Good. All right, <clears throat> this campaign will use the maximum conversion bid strategy to get your most out your budget. Click next. Okay, so they believe the average cost uh, for for conversion will be nine dollars and forty cents, and they think you'll get thirty two conversions per week. All right, and they recommend a forty three dollar daily budget we're not going to spend that much but we'll just keep that stroll down real quick click next <clears throat> all right you're on new york time 
scroll down. All right, you got to create a new payment profile. Go back up. Click where it says that. All right, and this is where you're just going to put your name. Yeah, click that real quick. Individual. And just put your name. And put your zip code. Continue. All right, add payment method. You can stop sharing the screen real quick. I can still see your screen. Uh, okay. I'm sharing screen. Okay, let's click on this. There it is. All right, good. Let me know when you're done with that. Let me see. What in the world is this one here? Okay. United States offer code payment method. Payment method. Hmm. Credit debit card, the bank account, card number. Uh, just a second. Let me grab my wallet. Okay. all right so am i sharing screen uh yeah you are okay so that part is done uh, all right click next no go down okay uh click back real quick back all right go up all right says so your ad will go live go back up after a review should take one or two business days click where it says google ads the logo the icon or whatever you want to call it google ads here yeah didn't do anything click on it anywhere all right click on your your uh youtube i mean your icon over to the right this yeah uh all right set up in progress here do this go back to google.com i'm trying to get to the original user face okay type in google ads again it's all right person yeah all right click on it i want to see if they're going to take us to the like actual home page all right go into sign in sign in uh don't do that sorry Give me a it should be stable it was saying the internet is unstable i didn't want it to cut off went out to do a little jogging that's why it didn't respond earlier i didn't want it to start raining lock me in all right, see, this is what is actually supposed to look like. <laughs> this is where right. it's easier to create campaigns at. That that way that you went through, yes. that's what they're forcing all new accounts to do because they're trying to get you to, like, use all their stupid AI and all of that bull crap, okay? So uh, click the X right here. X out of this. Okay. Yeah, scroll down. Yeah, leave, guy, leave. Okay. All right, scroll down. I've seen this a long time ago before okay all right so that's the campaign right there that you just made right there um that says campaign number one blah 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 all right yes they said give it a one day to two or, business day but yeah from my experience by tomorrow morning it should be running but okay. we want to come back in here and create a, a manual ad like from complete total scratch that one okay. that one and we're not we're not gonna keep it, but we're gonna let it get approved just so that it can show that one of our ads got approved because they keep history of what's been disapproved and what's been approved. And if you got a high disapproval rate, uh disapproval rate in your accounts, like is it, it becomes harder and harder and harder to get ads approved. So we wanna at least get a, a good initial review on the account from the ad that we did. All right. So um in the morning, maybe you should keep this open. I don't know. In the morning, yeah, keep this open. In the morning, okay. uh, text me by 10 a.m. Central Time. If it's not, um, if it's not text active. You, text you like, if it's active or not. Yeah, yeah. Text me whether it's active or not. And if okay. it's not active, we're going to get on here. And we, we're going to do this anyway, but because we need to make one from scratch. So we'll set a time that we're going to get on here. 
and uh, create a campaign from scratch. All right. Yeah. Uh, what time if works you best for you? you? Want to do it without the guidance. It doesn't matter. Just any any time after ten, just text me and let me know okay. if it's active or not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll All right, man. So I'll see you in the morning. All right. I'll set this aside. Um. Thank you. First of all, go back over there on your Facebook real quick. What'd you say? Oh, I was gonna uh, ask. Looks hey, like she you, gave the number. Like, she gave the number. Oh, she did give a number. Let me copy that. Number. Okay, so now what you want to do is get a happy. Let's get a hype. Do you have a couple pictures of the party bus? Make sure it don't have the name of the company on the side of it. Okay. Send her how many pictures? She got one. What's 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 size she get? She got the twenty nine passenger, right? Yes. Okay, so send her a picture of, of one of those. It's not a sprinter, it's just a regular party bus. So say this, uh, you know, give her a choice. Like, which one of these would you like for your day? So send a picture of a white one and a, and, and a black one and then ask her that question. People like the illusion of choice. It doesn't mean she's necessarily going to get that one, but let's just get excited. Make a dream. Make them dream. Okay, the white one is... They don't compare. The white one is much bigger. Do I go find a... We're going to just send just send one. Hold on. Neither one of those are party buses. So we only got... Do we? Do you only have a picture of one party bus? Okay, well, just send that picture and say, okay. what do you think about this? Send that in the interior. Okay, because I could go grab a black one as well. But it's just it's all right. Just, we just want to get her engaging. Okay. Send a picture uh, outside and, and inside. Picture? And then, yeah, and then picture of the inside, and then ask, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Uh, uh, did it load? I see something here. Okay, let me grab an interior. Get the one uh, that got the video on there. This one? Yeah. It's a video of a woman. That's why I didn't want to choose it at first, but yeah. they'll get the, they get the move. They get the idea. All right. Okay, what do you think about this one? They'll say, what do you think about this one? Question mark. That's it? Just keeping the conversation open, out of sight, out of mind. True, true, true. All right. So in the morning, around the same time, we will follow up with her so that you can collect payment as well. And as, mm. as the days get closer, we'll keep on marketing to her, trying to see when she wants to pay in full. But she's well, how much she says she want to pay tomorrow? A hundred? Uh, I don't think she mentioned. She says she'll pay tomorrow. I don't think she put a price on it. And say how much? I could put down something tomorrow afternoon. Okay, well, we said it got to be at least 100. So if she said that, then at least it's going to be 100 or something. As long as we can cover cost of your leads and all of that and get you a little cherry on top, that's all that matters. Uh, I know a person that only does this. What I mean by that is they don't even try to collect the full payment. All they do is collect deposits and tell the person to pay the rest in person <laughs> that uh, way they're responsible for having to transfer money or or if the person cancel or any of that extra stuff they just say hey you know um all you have to do is put down 400 today and you can pay the rest in person you know or all you have to do is put down 50 today and you can pay in person so if it only cost them what you what it cost you ten dollars to get the lead right okay well guess what that means you profit 90 bucks Okay, let's uh, say none of these people respond back and she's the only one that uh that pays and she pays um you know one to two hundred bucks tomorrow. Okay, well these were three dollars, I mean ten dollars each. Okay, so <clears throat> even if she don't come back and pay the rest, that'll be seventy dollars profit for you. So you got paid seventy bucks just just for generating a lead. So you're getting paid to generate leads. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So even if she don't come back and pay in full and she just take the loss of the hundred bucks or the two hundred bucks or, or whatever she's going to put down tomorrow, it'll still cover the cost of your ads and you can keep the ads running. We need to keep the ads running. You see how quick and how cheap these came in. We need to keep the ads running because there are more of her out there. OK, so tomorrow we'll start the ad back um we're gonna reach out to her see how much you want to put down you're gonna collect it however you can collect it zelle cash app whatever you got we need to collect the payment and then you know we can tell her hey 
You can either come back here to pay the remainder or you can pay it in person. Either way it goes, right? So depending on how much you're doing because you want to get your your remainder, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> that's why the more comfortable you get, like right now, this it, she pay you the hundred. That's the win. But the more comfortable you get, uh, the deposit needs to be your your cut. So if you're standing to get four hundred out of it, you'd be like, all right, you can put down as low as four hundred to lock this in. That way, no matter if she flakes or not, you'll be able to at least get your four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar, whatever it is, cut. You know, and then they can just pay the rest in person. That's what you want to get used to. That way you don't have to like, you don't even have to transfer the money to the person, to the, uh, to the company. You just hit them up, let them know the date and let them know the person is going to pay in person. Or if they feel comfortable, so you want to give people a couple options. If they feel comfortable enough, they can pay in full. If they say, ah, I just rather pay in the rest in person. Hey, as long as you got your 300 or 400 or 500, whatever you're going to profit from the deal. That's all that freaking matters, especially if it only costs you $10 to get the freaking lead to come in. You can literally sit here and do that all damn day. All right. So after we get a couple of these going, I'm going to move you over to a niche that was really killing it for me at the beginning. And that is the moving niche. All right. This is more of a luxury niche. People don't have to have a party bus, but people yes. have to to have moving trucks when they get evicted or they move to a new place or something like that. They got to have movers. Okay. So that's another one that really converts very well over there on Google. Not so much over here on Facebook, but over there on Google, it converts extremely well. So, but let's get a couple over here so that we can start ramping up your party bus. You might even like it and want to just stay in party bus. Uh, but I want you to at least test out the moving niche and see how well you like that. All right. All right. All right. So I'll talk to you, Lars Will, tomorrow in the morning around 10 Central. Don't forget to okay. text me. Okay. Um, write a note to myself, text you, whatever the status is. Yeah, your name. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep that Google uh, page open so you can just go in there and refresh, you know what I'm saying, and see if it's active. Right. All right. Thank you so much. All right, talk to you tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. All right. It's not an if it's going to work. It's a when it's going to work. Because think about this, guys. If they're getting sales already when you meet them, before you like even done anything to them, they're getting sales. That means the moment that you plug in your 10 monetization, who else is getting sales? Who else is getting money? You well, are so immediately. Funny. So what I did, this is when I was still an agency, I started subscriptions for local businesses. Oh, yes, Lord. Pain is profit, baby. All right. So okay. Justin, Justin, he said something that was priceless. He said, yo, my uh, my opt in form on uh, my website is the reason why I haven't been getting any leads. Right. So, well, I, I haven't checked your Google, so I'm guessing you're getting traffic and clicks and stuff. So that's good. So what you have to do, guys. Is when you go into your builder all, let me go to my party bus site situation template thingy. All right. When you go to your builder all, when you log into builder all, you go to a uh, mailing boss. You have to connect an uh, email list to this right here. You're going to have to like create a list and you're going to connect it to this. And builder all has tutorials, guys. They have a whole university. All you do is go to mailing boss and it's going to show you exactly how to connect. That way you're going to be able to collect all of your own leads and have control over those leads for a lifetime and be able to remarket to those same people, bring them back for more party bus ventures, sell them other stuff and all of that extra stuff to make money, guys. So I'm happy, Justin. Thank you, Justin, for bringing that up. So you're going to go into Builder All. You're going to go to Mailing Boss. You're going to select the site and you're just going to connect a list to this. And whenever somebody visits the site, is going to like connect their email and their name and their phone number, whatever you put right here and blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. So that is how you do that. That's the reason why. Okay. Thank you for bringing it up, man. I'm happy that, uh, they were able to tell you that. Okay. Cause we were so, uh, trying to get them to call that we forgot about that. They might even come in here. They might go in there because everybody don't want, they're not comfortable enough. They think that if they get on here, they're going to have to talk to somebody 
uh, even though, well, right now they will because you don't have your IVR set up. But eventually, when you get your IVR set up, and that's I'm about to talk to y'all about all of that stuff in a minute, um, then they'll probably be going through here for now. All right, so like I was saying, I listened to all of you guys' feedback. And the reason why the helicopter uh, rentals course isn't being released first is because if we go to copy and paste rentals first course, it's going to look very different. Ta-da! <laughs> I pretty much redid the entire course. I deleted a lot of the stuff, and I've simplified it. Like, it's way more simplistic. It's way more straight to the point. It's way, like, okay, it's going to get you guys results, like, way faster. People have been making a lot of money from this already, but... This is going to is 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 structured as if you were maybe on a one on one with me and we just get straight to the money type situation. All right. So we got the welcome video right here. OK. And, uh, you know, basically the welcome video gives expectations and, you know, um, like when you can expect this to kick in and what I expect you to do, what you should expect from yourself, how to navigate through everything, how to find the resources, which you should know by now. And of course, you guys already know this. Go create your dang own channel and upload. That is your daily entrepreneur. Uh, what do you call it? Journal type situation. We can track if you're actually doing the assignments when you upload here. No complaints. Next. All right, let's get pricing out the way. I listen to you guys. There's a lot of you guys that get hung up on this part. This part is the reason why some of y'all ain't made money because you, you're so stiff, pause, right? <laughs> you're so stiff. You're like, all right, well, this is the price, and you know, I don't know what to do if they say that they you know, can't pay that price, and you just give up, and you just lose the leads, and, and that's it. And I'm like, yo, dog, like, we said that we don't want to cut into the profits of our partners. We said we don't want to. Okay. That doesn't mean that if one of your leads come in and say, well, I don't, what if I don't want the vacation? What if I don't want the extra bonuses? What is the cost then? If they say all of that stuff, it kind of eliminates your irresistible offer. And makes it to where you kind of like everybody else. So now all you can do <laughs> pretty much at this point is give them a decent price. That means you're not going to be able to charge too much more over industry standard. So what you then have to do is go to your partner and, and we're going to go uh, in, a, in a hold on in a couple minutes. I'm about to show you guys how you're supposed to be finding partners in the first damn place. OK, and uh, how you start is how you determine how the like the lifetime of your business is going to run, like instead of going back and putting out fi uh, fires and stuff. So if you've already found cool and flexible partners at the beginning, you don't have to worry about it. You can adjust when people say your prices are too high. Well, that's cool. My partner has already gave me a discount. So, for example, let's say that your partner uh, his normal quote for the four hour block is is four thousand, uh, not four thousand. I'm tripping. Is a thousand bucks. OK, so you like, OK, it's a 28 passenger, a thousand bucks. OK, on a Saturday. Right. Well, you say, hey, I'm going to be sending you multiple people at that thousand bucks mark, but I need to be profitable. Like, what's the most you can give me out of that that won't hurt you? OK, I can give you one fifty two hundred. Cool. So now, you know that he's willing pause i gotta say paul <laughs> he's willing to well i ain't gotta say pause i ain't gotta say go all right they're willing to discount a little bit all right and that means if you were to bump up your price over that thousand at least a hundred or two hundred at least you ain't gotta bump it all the way up to like 15 to 16 because your partner already discounted a couple hundred so they went down 200 you go up 200 that's a 400 dollars profit without making the party bus customer feel like damn you way more like expensive than everybody else i don't want the rest of your gifts and all of that i just want a flat party bus v so now it makes it to where okay you can give them a a, a, a you know around the area of that 
without sacrificing your profits and without digging too deep and wounding your partner, right? But this is why I say you start the correct way. Take your time. Go on Groupon. Go on these other places where these people already, they already have discounted prices. Groupon did the hard work for you. They already told them, if you're going to sign up to my site, you can't charge your full price. So you have to charge this. They already agreed to that. So if you find those people, let them be the partners. And you're just going to send them the amount they agreed to a Groupon for. And, and you keep a huge margin. So you charge regular price. So so check this out. You find them on Groupon. And on Groupon, they 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 um, instead of a thousand bucks, they only charge in four hundred. Boom. But everybody else is charging a thousand out there. So when you tell a customer is a thousand, you're not uh, the customer is not going to feel like you're overcharging them because you're giving them the regular price. They don't know that the uh, the uh, the company is on Groupon. So that means you get six hundred dollar profit. That's how we pull these numbers off. You get six hundred and the partner get four hundred and they don't want to got the party bus. Unless you want to be nice and give them a, you know, that's up to you. I'll leave that up to you. Right. So, guys, is it, it your pricing is adjustable? You don't have to be stiff. You don't. OK, I'm only going to charge. It. You can be flexible when you have a fish on the freaking line. Get the deal. Right. If you can't negotiate with the customer, then you your partner needs to appreciate you. This is why I tell y'all to make a lot of partners. Call all these. Oh, I was about to say something. Call all these folks. Call all of them. Put me in scared. Call them. Yo, you the 15th damn party bus company company. I'm calling. If I send you somebody for a thousand bucks, how much out of that thousand can you give me? OK, well, you're number four on my list because you hella skeet. All right. Next. All right. And you go down the line, get all your partners and whoever gives you the highest amount of like profits and discounts. That's going to be your main man or your main whoever girl or whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's who you're going to be sending to uh, the trips to first because they give you the biggest profit margins. Right. If you have a list of partners. Right. Then then you 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 never run out of supply and you can always tell your customers. Yes. This ain't agency department. Some of y'all in agency department. Agency department, I tell you, you only need one partner. And that's mainly because we're not caring about the upfront with that. It's more of a long-term play where you're going to be making like hundreds of thousands of dollars from one freaking partner, you know, instead of like doing all. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about that type of stuff later. But for, for now, focus, y'all. All right. So we got the pricing out the way. That's this. Go and meditate on this right here. All uh, right, and the knees are the same, you know. You're getting your part in sight and, and get your tracking and all of that extra stuff. Um, uh, all of that. Okay. Now let's move on. And here's right here, because some people are still confused about where as to find uh where you get the vacation incentives. Do you want to go and create your own um um irresistible offers, partnerships with travel agencies, partnerships with restaurants, partnerships with events? and 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 uh stadiums and all of that stuff you can do that hire vas or hire you know uh somebody to go out and like you know make all these connections or you can leverage an agency that's already made all them damn connections so that's this right here all right next and we'll get to the questions after we're done with this because these videos were burst from a lot of you guys' questions. So technically I am answering questions as I made these videos. So give me a second and we'll get to your questions, all right? All right, so these are platforms, like I said, to scope out potential partners. I have like five, six platform, platforms in here, excuse me. All right, five or six platforms in here. Then this is something that I did not include in the first course. A lot of you guys are slow poking around and it's because I cared about your feelings. My bad. I apologize. Um, the scripture says the wounds of a friend are faithful. If I really care about you, I'm going to give you the real, no matter how you freaking feel about it. All right. A lot of y'all are, hey, I spend a hundred bucks to get in here. What else I got to spend? 
But then Labor Day weekend coming up and you worried about that and you're going to spend 400, 500. All right. You're going to uh, when when Fourth of July come around, you're going to literally explode a thousand dollars, literally. But when you get in here, you're like, what else I got to buy? Shut up. Shut up. Don't ask me nothing like that no more. I will give you. No, I ain't getting no refunds. I will kick you out. Don't ask me that type of stuff no more. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, then change your whole mind. You can't be one foot out and one foot in. So if I get on a call with you or if I decide to help you, you do what I instruct you to do. All right. You don't hit me with some. Well, um, this weekend, I, um, you know, I told my sister I was going to take them to six. Flag. I don't care about that. I'm instructed. You hired me technically to help you increase your finances. That's all I'm supposed to do. But there's no point in getting the coach if you're not going to listen to him. So I said all that to say this. The last course for copy and paste rentals only involved free, free methods, all of my free methods. But, but guess what, guys? A lot of free methods allow you, you know, they cause for you to do a lot of grunt work. All right. That's why leverage is so important. OK, because a lot of the free work, you know, a lot of the free leads and free sales and all that is going to be more hard work. You're going to pay somewhere. Everything costs. So you either pay in time or you pay in money. And we're all over the age of 18. So we need to grow up. Everything costs money. We're in a world of that wickedness and money. When kingdom come, we'll be free from that. But until then. That's what it is. If you want to be in front of a lot of people, you either do SEO, you either do joint ventures, or you run paid ads. Okay? So we have this Facebook ad that I'm giving to you guys to attract party bus partners. Okay? This is so that the partners come to you just in case you don't feel like going to all the platforms or calling or emailing somebody to try to find a partner or something like that. We run this and... They come to you. OK, so we literally show you in this video how to do that and actually give you the ad as well. OK, next. Everything is rapid. OK, I want you to get results as soon as possible. You need quick wins. Quick wins give you courage. Quick win gives you confidence. Confidence to go on. If you see that you can win once, you know that you can win again. OK, so Facebook ads can get you easy inbound bookings. OK. All right. Next, this is something that was missing from the first one as well. What your Facebook chat bot should show and ask. OK, so I got you guys the chat bot sequence that I've used over the years that still converts crazy. All right. All right. And next, you guys already know about the thumbtack autoresponder type situation stuff right there. Uh, what's next? All right. Another thing, if you guys are struggling to get the sales and stuff because of the price, guys, what you want to include in your irresistible offer is the fact that they can book now and pay later. Ooh, oh, my God. Don't you see that at the car dealerships? And it takes the pressure off of a person when they're looking around at those $50,000, $80,000 cars. It still costs the same, but just knowing that you don't have to pay that today is like, whoo, nice. Where do I sign up? So you want to give that same effect to the people that are trying to get your party bus services. Being the fact that we partnered with them and you can go through me to get to them, right, and get the best deals you can offer financing. So when someone says, oh, I saw your price. I don't know if I can do that. Well, guess what? You don't have to do that. What do you mean, sir? Well, what do you mean, ma'am? Well, guess what? When you book today, not only are we going to give you 10% off all future bookings plus a $300 restaurant voucher add to that. Oh, my God. The eight day, seven night vacation complimentary through our travel partner but you also don't have to pay us anything out of pocket today you can just go ahead and get in start and join and you can pay us when you can pay us later oh my god yes lord 
Hashtag yes, Lord. So now you can offer that. You're going to get way more bookings than you would without offering it. Why do you think all the big boy companies, rental companies, uh, you know, furniture companies, uh, freaking, I don't know, farm equipment companies, everything like all <laughs> medical equipment, come, everybody offers financing except for low level entrepreneurs. And we wonder how the big boys become the big boys because the big boys leverage other people's money. You're really killing it when when you're not just using other people's money for yourself, but when you can give other people's money to the people that you want to give you money. That's when you're killing it. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I went on ahead and increased my uh, two on one and one on one sessions back to 5K. Why? Because I'm not charging out of pocket anymore. I lowered it because people had to pay out of pocket, but I have got back with this partner right here. Now they don't have to pay out of pocket. So this allows you when you charge for the party buses, you'll get the money that day, like the, the entire like amount, 2000, 3000, whatever it is. But the customer, they get to pay over time. They don't even have to pay that day. They, they, you know, they have, they get to pay over time. So it's literally painless for you and for the customer to offer financing. Yes, Lord. All right. Then we got this one right here. This one is still from the older uh, version. Um, now, this is another one from the questions that a lot of you guys had. I told you I want to answer everything. I don't want no nothing holding y'all back. No bottlenecks. Yo, David, how do we collect payments? All right. So I'll show you how to go from like right now where you just like manually collecting payments and, you know, cash app, uh, Zelle, that type of situation. But you got to stay away, far away from Stripe and PayPal, please. But I also show you my high risk merchant account providers, the ones that it will pay payment, uh, custom payment gateway on your websites. Okay. So I, uh, I recommend two of them at the end of this, uh, this video on here. Uh, I emphasize more on one of them because the, the one that I emphasize on doesn't require like a lot of like history or, or any of that extra stuff is payments and stuff like that. They're, they're used to working with new entrepreneurs, so you wouldn't have no problem with them. All right. Then something brand new that I pulled out of my uh, the back of my wardrobe. Um, you guys might not have heard of this before, but creating party bus subscriptions during during the pandemic of 2020. This is something that made me, my students and a lot of local business a killing um, because everybody was closed up in houses, scared to go out. So a lot of uh, public businesses were suffering. So what I did, this is when I was still an agency, I started subscriptions for local businesses. Oh, yes, Lord. Pain is profit, baby. Okay. So I was like, oh, snap. Um, nobody's going to come out to the movies. Hmm. And that's when me and my friend created a site before HBO Max, Prime, and Netflix started doing it. And we were making deals with local theaters to stream the the in theater uh, movies straight to our site. The name of our site was li the Live In. I had to shut it down once HBO them started doing the same damn thing. Sucks. Anyway, so it was like genius, right? So so you were able to. I was running Facebook ads in in local cities and stuff, where right when movies was coming out and stuff. And I, I had a subscription where if they paid a certain subscription, they'll get discounts whenever the other movies came out. And we we plugged in to where they can like like pre-order so if they're like regular movie goer type people, they can pre-order like ice cream. I mean, not ice cream, like uh, the, the concession stand snacks and stuff like that that they would normally get. They would have that stuff delivered to their houses before certain movies came out. And yo, we was freaking killing it, man. So. So my point is this now, like I, I modified it to where it doesn't just have to fit during like COVID times or something like that. You can create subscriptions. Somebody come in, pay for the party bus. Guess what? 
is other things they're going to want besides those bonuses. You got them on your list now. What are you going to do with it? See, this is why a lot of businesses struggle. They get people on their list and then they don't do nothing with the list. A lot of these companies got hell of people on their list that's bought from them before and don't even send out reactivation campaigns or emails that have related services uh, uh, to what they offer that they can get paid from or get a cut from. They don't know anything about affiliate offers or CPA offers that they can send out today. They don't know nothing about that. So we put them on the subscriptions and then we send them free uh, free offers throughout the months and stuff that they don't have to pay for. But there's there's something behind the curtain, I must admit. These free offers that's going to be going out to them are CPA offers. So that means we're going to get paid from those too. Man, this is a double-decker bus or a triple-layer salad. Yes, Lord. Okay. Now, we come over here and this is the king's throne ensuring future sales through customer contacts all right guys you get your first sale you scream out eureka and oh my god this is real then a couple days or a couple weeks go by before you get your next one and you start thinking maybe it's a fluke it's not a fluke you're still the same company you still got the same offer it's just that you need numbers you got to do the numbers everything is about numbers Right. So this is about increasing your numbers more rapidly in a more calculated way that you can predict your income. Everybody that comes in from your life event marketing, whether that's anniversaries, whether that's graduations, whether that's um, um, birthdays, whether that's somebody got a raise, uh, somebody just had a kid like life event marketing is it, it's so effective because we all have these life events in common. That's why Party Buzz ads work so well, because it's not just one Libra in the world. It's, it's millions of Libras or billions of Libras, right? It's not just one Sagittarius. It's, it's probably billions of them, right? So, like, these life events we all have in common. So, what am I saying? When you guys get a sale, if you know how difficult it was for you to get that sale, how come you don't guarantee your next couple sales? So what do I mean? This is what I used to do. I used to say, hey, who all do you know? If, so, if I got on the phone with a business owner, like let's say I wanted to grow a marketing agency to $100,000. I don't like agencies no more. We don't do that. But let's say I wanted to grow a marketing agency to $100,000 in 30 days. How would I do that? See, you, you're like, what? That don't make no sense. That's impossible. Well, first of all, with God, all things are possible. So let me just check you right there. Second of all, it's about numbers. Everybody ain't broke just because we might be broke. Oh, ain't nobody. I, I would pay nobody ten thousand dollars. Well, that's you. It's people that just pay ten thousand dollars as a tip in some places. So those are the people that we reach out to. Those are the people that we get in front of. Let me say that. Okay. So plastic surgeons. I have a student or had a student. Her first deal was five thousand dollars from that. And she had no, like, she messed up so much, <laughs> and he still gave her the five thousand down dollars, right? <laughs> right. So, like, it's people that just pay that like it's chump change because they got business, they got stuff to do, and they just need a job fix. So, what I would do is I would find a niche where they spend that like it's penny candy money, and after I get them good results, I'm gonna say here. Write on a piece of paper or text me every business owner that you are in business with or every business owner that you are friends with. What am I? Why am I saying this? All right. We're not going to do conflict of interest. I'm not going to deal with another plastic surgeon. But who did you get your car from? Who painted the exterior interior of your house? All right. Like like who created your in-home theater uh, installation system? Right. Like who is over your home security system? Write all of these people down. Reciprocity. You spent money with them, they will listen to you. Who has been your family dentist since you were a child? I'm pretty sure you still got them or know them. All right. So after they're done, that means I only had to get one sale. And that one sale, and they're going to sell for me like crazy. Why? Do you want the next two months off? 
I'll give you the next two months off. So they're going to go and sell like it's their freaking service. They're going to go sell like it's their freaking service. So why am I telling you this? Am I telling you to go start an agency? No, I'm not. But I am telling you that the people that buy your party bus services, they have friends, family, cousins, sisters, brothers, aunties, uncles, dogs, cat. No, they have all of that. So when they buy, first thing you should be asking is, all right, who's next? Who else's birthday is coming up? Do you have uh, somebody that's about to graduate this year? What day do they uh, what what date do they graduate on? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, do you guys do anything for Christmas? Who got an is your parents still together? They they get they celebrate anniversaries? Man, write down all these people's dates and numbers and tell them I'm gonna give them 10% off forever too. They're gonna get the same bonuses that I'm giving you for this 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 event that you having right now. So if they're enjoying their self with 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 it being your occasion then they're definitely going to enjoy themselves when the spotlight is on them. So this is how you can turn one customer into seven to 10 sales. And then you're not sitting here crying about, oh, there's no new leads coming in. Hey, pause, but drain the freaking leads that come in. Oh, that's too expensive. Well, tell me who this wouldn't be expensive for. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't this be expensive for? Like, yo, like, put me in contact with somebody that this wouldn't be expensive for. Right? Like, hey, well, if you go half with a friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell if you get a friend to go half with you, then tell them that I'll add this bonus when it's their birthday. So now I'm ensuring that they come around for their birthday too. A new regular customer. Like, dog, come on. Your net worth is determined by your you fill in the blank. Yeah, I heard it before. Don't look at a person as one sale. Don't look at a person as one sale, especially when you have slow traffic coming in. All right, so let me show you guys a little sum sum. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, the chat bot. So this is the, the Facebook ad that I have running right here. I just set this up for there and back transport. And this is the chat bot. And it allows me to uh we'll just click on it real quick close that and we'll open this up so we got a trigger right here the trigger is just the point where someone says something or does something and it activates the sequences that you have programmed into your chat box remember what what the uh title of this video is uh inside the course what your facebook chat bot should show and ask so one thing you guys haven't been doing is a lot of showing, okay? When we have our chatbots set up, whether it's like selling courses or whatever, we make sure we do so much showing. It's way more imagery than it is like, like text and stuff like that because most people are visual and audio learner, learners. I forgot what it's called when it's audio, but visual learners, I say that, okay? So they want to see things, right? Because they have lack of faith. <laughs> okay, so it goes from the trigger. The trigger asks them, uh, you know, like what day, how, how many hours, you know, how many passengers, that sort of thing. So when it, once they answer that question, they're going to use some of these words that I have programmed in here just when they answer it. So it's going to automatically trigger this. So it says, cool, this is just one of the awesome buses that we have gassed up for your day. What do you think of the picks? Okay, they're gonna click on it. And you, as you can see, we got a hundred percent click through rate where it says they're perfect. There's only been a couple people that came through this one so far, though. All right, so then it's gonna automatically send them over here. It says, "Can you confirm to me one more time how many hours for your occasion?" And it only allows us to put like three buttons, so <laughs> so I had to skip eight hours. But hey, whatever. Four hours, six hours, 12 hours. Okay. So they answer that. And guess what? Brings them right here. And it shows them some of the vacation destination. I couldn't put all of it in there because this is a Facebook messenger. Like they were like, damn, dude. So <laughs> it shows them the, the vacation destinations that they're going to get complimentary. And it tells them, well, I'll read it right here. And then it has a video image. It's not the actual video. 
a screenshot of the people eating at the restaurants. Okay, thanks for that info. I'm getting the best price for you now. Also, we paid. We want reciprocity, remember? So we worded it in a, in a particular way. All right, to make it feel like we've done something for them already. Now, could you do something for us? <laughs> now, nah, I'm just playing. All right, we pay the travel agency thousands just so that we can offer. Hold on, gotta let somebody in. Pause. All right, we pay the travel company, travel agency thousands just so that we can offer a complimentary birthday vacation included with our buses, as well as partner with restaurants to give our customers. $300 restaurant vouchers to eat while they're out on the town. You'll be emailed the vacation destinations we offer you free for your birthday. What type of restaurants do you like? So we're we're trying to get them dreaming, trying to get them fantasizing and really thinking about their day in detail. Like you got to give people like in it, make it really feel like you want to be a part of it and all of that. If it's just all robotic, like, yeah, it's going to be 1200 you know <laughs> You know, that's how most of these companies answer the phone. Yeah, what you want? What day? Right? <laughs> All right. So uh, we got Italian food, Asian food, soul food, 100%. Hashtag yes, Lord. Okay. So then we come over here. It's going to automatically bring them here. Okay. So after paying our partners to grant you complimentary vacation and fancy meals, uh to enjoy your day this is the lowest we could afford to drop the prices oh also we have a new program so you pay zero out of pocket you can book today pay later if approved which special works for you i'm wording things properly i didn't say which price they need to know that they're special they need to know that this is maybe even discounted or something like that okay so four hours for 9.97 Six hours for 13, 20 or 50, I think. We can't see it. And 12 hours for 2,050, okay? All right. Then it automatically comes to this one right here. And you guys see this stuff inside the course, obviously. Okay, it says, perfect. If you decide to pay out of pocket, you don't have to pay in full today just to not miss out on everything you can, uh, uh, you can put down a tiny deposit, any amount that won't hurt you. That will hold your date price plus free bonuses. We will email slash text your booking invoice immediately. Choose an option below and welcome to your B-Day celebration. We hit them, hit them with that at the end because you want to always assume the sale. And we have pay in full option. And if they want to pay in full, it's going to take them to the next sequence, which I'll see in a minute. Uh, pay a tiny $100 holding fee. Okay, guess what? If they pay that, it covers the cost of my dang on Facebook ad and gives me some profit. And it's incentive uh, uh, enough for them to come back and pay in full unless they just want to lose that, right? Okay, so then lastly, it says finance this uh, uh, for you or finance this for me. So that's when it's going to take them to my financing option and where they don't have to pay out of pocket or nothing like that. See, we've thought of everything, man. And so y'all need some more answered. <laughs> and then I'll add that to the course too. Okay, so then last message says, congrats. Your once in a lifetime guaranteed to go viral birthday is booked. We accept cash app business or Zelle invoices. Which would you like us to send to your email? Clap, 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 clap. And the audience goes... Wow. Okay. So now this literally allows me to share this automation just in case you guys don't know how to like make this and do all this extra stuff right there. Okay. All right. So now that we have did the whole rundown, I will go through first. Let me go back to the group real quick. I want to uh, answer a few things in here real quick. Then we'll get to you guys like public questions, like your, your uh, current questions. I mean, all right, I hope to make 12K per month. Okay, you can definitely do that. He's trying to get in the ATP program. That is where you really partner with them from agency to partner. Uh, okay, let's see. You plug in the 10 monetizations. All right, he said, does anybody know which build a raw plan we should choose? Also, I heard some, some I guess one mentioned that build a raw has a free trial. Everybody, listen up. 
All right. I'm from Southside St. Louis. You hear me? I had to pawn my wedding rings. It was a point of time where people thought that me and my family was on drugs. Like, dog, I've sacrificed. So the hood stories ain't finna get me, bro. Y'all need to stop looking for stuff like that. Don't keep, keep looking for this type of stuff. Get what you can get because you get what you pay for. And sometimes you can get deals. But most of the time, you don't have full access to stuff when it's free. Right. Most of the time you don't. Sometimes if you're if you're blessed like that, but most of the time, if it's a free trial, it's not going to have all the features until the, the trial is over. So you might as well just go ahead and get stuff. But if you want to get free trial, then, yeah, you can find a free trial for better. All I think somewhere um, most people get, like I said here, most people get the eighty seven dollar option. There is some option. I think it's what, thirty seven bucks or. 57 bucks or something like that hey <laughs> do what you want like guys like do what you want but guess what how you treat your business man like if you if your shoes cost more than you've spent on your education or on your entrepreneurship if your car or your house for that matter cost more than what you put into your education or your entrepreneurship you can't be mad at your finances because I've spent well over any amount of house that I've lived in just from learning and experimenting on every platform, failing, 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 succeeding, failing some more, failing, succeeding. So like, yeah, it's a $37 option is a, is, is a, we used to have a free trial option. I remember I used to promote that one. That's how I got a lot of people in Builder Raw the first time ago. But I haven't seen that in a while. But you, if you go look hard enough, I promise you, you'll find a free trial. Um, okay, let's get to another question. I saw another question in here. Um, how can we find the price of our partners in a party bus rental space in our local area? I mean, you can go to some of their sites. Some of their sites will have the prices, like my partner in St. Louis. But most of them are going to say, Call to get a quote. <laughs> so guess what you can do? You can call to get a quote. Not trying to be funny, but that's literally what we had to do when we didn't know the prices of people's services. You know, um, we didn't have to call them. I mean, it ain't going to hurt you. You'll be alive after that. You know, Lord's will. Um, I mean, these are people you don't care about. So why, why I care about if they hang up? But they're not going to hang up if you call in and get a quote because they're going to think you're a customer. So, hey, I'm calling to see how much you'll charge for a four hour block when it's 28 to 32 passengers on a Saturday. Give me a quote for that. Give me your best quote for that. OK, they get back with you. And then you say, all right, well, it's not for me. I'm sending you people for that. So out of that thirteen hundred or fifteen hundred or whatever it is, how much can you give me out of that so I can be encouraged, inspired to continue bringing you more free money. That's it. That's how you get the prices, y'all. That's literally how you get the prices. Okay? Uh, you know, we can try to go around it, you know, uh, but it's just faster. It's just faster. It's faster to, yeah. <laughs> it's faster to pick up. Y'all remember back in the day in the night, what was it, the late 90s? <laughs> Pick up the phone, the damn hotline uh, commercial. Pick up the damn phone, man. Um, all right, so I want to say something about this one real quick. Welcome, everybody that's been coming in over the past week or two. Um, hi, my name is Jamie. I just joined Copy and Paste Rentals because I'm looking to make 5K a month. I found this on YouTube, and I saw Keith on YouTube and was interested <laughs> Video I saw. My goal is hold on, man. I'm hearing feedback. Mute yourself. My goal is to be able to make some extra side income as well as learn new things. All right. All praises to the most high. I'm grateful for everybody that that uh joined and everything. One thing I want y'all to realize is this is for you. You didn't join for me. I make money from the actual things that I'm teaching y'all guys too. Okay. Yes. Courses are extra income stream. 
Awesome. I'm not going to lie about that. Hell yeah. I want more income streams. Who doesn't? Okay. But this is for you. If you approach entrepreneurship, especially coaching, like you're doing the coach a favor, then you're going to have trouble because you're not going to go hard because you don't think it's for you. You think it's for them. Okay, guys. So I need you to realize that's the first thing you need to recognize when you purchase. Co they don't even have to be for me. You can leave me and go somewhere else, but it doesn't change the fact that when you buy something, if you buy some chips, you know it's yours. If you buy some shoes, them yours. You'll get mad if you walk in the house and see your sister wearing yours without your permission. It's yours. So when you purchase something, it is yours. This is for y'all. So if you take ownership of this new experience that you guys are tackling right now, then you will put everything you got into it. The Bible says, whatever you put forth your hand to do, do it with all thy might. You don't dabble. So I just want to correct a few things, guys. I want y'all to stop looking at this as optional. I want you to stop looking at it as a, a side gig or a side hustle or just something extra, because that's why it's never going to take off for some of y'all. Those of you who look at it like, yo, this is what I want to do, at least until I can leverage it to go to whatever like real passion or dream that I got. If you look at it like it's your main source, OK, then you're not going to get discouraged if somebody tell you no, if you get a couple leads that don't close or 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 if you have a couple hiccups, if your ad don't get approved, you're not going to say, you know what, let me go back to YouTube. I saw something about you know, day trading or, or, you know, some other type of my dog, you're going to keep hopping around your whole life. Half of y'all are over 30. When, when are you going to just be like, yo, let me just see what would happen if I get past the pain. Okay. So if y'all want to make these numbers, we got a 5k right here. We got the 12k up, up there. Where are you at? Where are you at? We got the 12k up here somewhere. Yeah. 12k right here, guys. These are all reasonable. You saw the people on the YouTube. Those are real actual people. All right, let me let me show you. Hold on. We got where we go. There's a Keith. There he is. That's Keith. That's a real person. Hold on. Here's Bruno. The one that uh with the the site for construction that's been killing it for three years straight. But these are people that I that that I've been on one on one sessions with multiple times that have been in multiple of my courses that like some of them I even call brothers. One of them is a dang on 20 percent like like equity owner in the in, in AJU now. <laughs> like, yo, you can't be like, yo, this is, uh, you know, when I get home, I think about this. Maybe you <laughs> listen, this has to be priority, y'all. At least until you get, you hear all these millionaire. Oh, average millionaire has seven incomes. Okay, cool, but most of them don't don't tell you that they focus on one of them first, and then they pulled from that one to create the other ones. You don't need loans and all of that if you got one of your business models already working. So please, guys, all I ask is that you take this serious, serious. But uh, Hakeem, let me see. Is, is, is Hakeem on here? Uh, hold on. Because I need to answer this. Ah, he wouldn't be on here now. That's crazy. Okay. Anyway, um, listen. A couple of y'all are buying multiple of my courses like I'm not going to see it. Just because I got customer support don't mean I'm not going to see it. And just because you... I'm getting money don't mean I want you buying all of my courses. <laughs> I want you to focus. Your testimonial is far more like lucrative for me and beneficial for me than you spending a couple more dollars on another one of my courses. That don't that's that's not going to help you and it's not going to help me. But your focus, I appreciate that. Your dedication I appreciate that. And you should appreciate that from yourself as well. That's what's going to change your life, not just an abundance of knowledge and, and the courses. You understand it? That'll make your head hurt. OK, I want y'all to pick a niche, pick a model and go hard scale. There's simplicity. The Bible says it's simplicity in Christ. Did you know the Old Testament had 
six hundred something commandments and laws that we had to keep under Moses. And if we didn't, if we broke any one of those, we would automatically, if 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 it wouldn't be covered by the bullocks that the Levites would sacrifice to uh, for our sins, if we couldn't cover that sin with that, we automatically go to hell. And it was so hard to try to keep six hundred and ten commandments and laws or rules it pretty much would guarantee that you was going to hell so he had to send his son the comforter to cover for our sins and make it what you still got to follow commandments but law brought a new uh, but christ brought a new law he made it simplistic just follow me just follow me that's it whatever i would do in that situation do that you ain't got to memorize 610 freaking laws and all of that extra stuff like that. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You don't need 10,000 courses. You don't need to go back and watch 15 more YouTube videos. You don't need to know everything about every business model before you take action. Just follow what's laid out before you and it will piece itself together. I promise. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go into you guys is, uh, chat and answer the questions that you guys huh. okay uh jamie came on late but we went over this when from here i can't show you thumbtack every time i create a thumbtack account from where i am in panama it gets deactivated automatically if i log into my thumbtacks that i have that was created from my u.s partners it will be detected and those will get shut down as well. But hold on. I got a solution. Give me one second. We'll come over here and we'll just type in. Ta -da! And it's like an abundance of these mugs, you know, <laughs> and you just literally you follow like how what you see inside the course and stuff. You're just going to sign up the same way everybody signs up is pretty much just like any other um what do you call them profiles like when you sign up for facebook you know um you're just gonna answer the ask the yeah answer the question answer the questions that they ask you about uh the business like when did it start um how many hours would you like for people to book for what services you provide uh what areas you'll cover and that's that's pretty much it that's it but like, like that's literally it, I promise you, within like three minutes, <laughs> within three minutes, you'll have your profile set up. Everybody that's made money in the past year with me set up their thumbtack profile and got crazy leads from it. And that's where they got most of their leads from. I'm just now introducing some of y'all uh, to the Facebook ads. So it's not like I've been showing them something different than I showed y'all. Most of them been getting their bookings from them, uh, the thumbtack as well. Okay. Um, so let's see. What are the updates in CPR? I don't see them. Okay. Who is AB? I don't know who that is. Okay. But I don't know how you don't, don't see them. Uh, refresh. Refresh your course. This is the course right here. Let's go back home. This is what you're going to see when you come into copy and paste rentals. This video is new right here. This video right here is new right here. This video right here is new. This video right here is new i literally pretty much did the entire course all over again and made it easier this one right here is new for the facebook ads this one right here is new this one is new for the chat bot they already had this one this one right here is new to offer financing this is new collecting payments how to really collect the payments creating party bus subscription fee payments for yourself and ensuring future sales so it's all new in there. Okay. Mark asks the great question. Hey guys, if I start yelling, it's because um, they have these weirdly made roofs out here in Panama where you can hear the rain. It is just like, what the hell? 
So it sounds like it's hella loud. Y'all might not even hear the rain, but I just be want to make sure y'all can hear me. So I might start talking a little bit louder. If I get too loud, just tell me, yeah, we can hear you good in the chat. All right, so what do you do when your leads start re stop responding? You use them as bait. You take those leads, you go over to Google, you find people that are spending money on uh, leads, meaning they're running Google ads, or they're doing awesome SEO, they're ranking at the top of uh, uh, Google for party buses, or you can stay on the same platform, which is Thumbtack, and you can reach out to the other party bus people there because you already have proof that they're paying for leads. So you can tell them, hey, I'm the dude from this company and my listing is ranked above yours. Um, I charge way more than you. So what I want to do is send you the leads that can't afford my services. How much will you give me for them? Boom, there you go. You monetize every lead that comes in. Or you can use those leads as bait to gain partners for agency to partner, where you're going to plug in the 10 monetizations, where you're going to be able to get profit share from their company, where you're going to be able to get equity from their company. Okay, so that's what you do with those dead leads. You use them. Guys, you're never broke. Unless you just, you know, stop. Okay. Take those leads and use them. Yo, necessity don't mind, man. Necessity don't mind. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that it's cooking. I need to eat that now. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right. So, LOL, this is what I also was thinking to offer financing after watching the, the, the video. So, he's referring to, uh, oh, Shay. Shay is referring to uh, the interview that I did over there on YouTube with, uh, with my Flex by a partner. Asked, answered all, the, I got all the answers to all the questions and all of that stuff from him on that interview. Y'all should check that one out over there. Uh, but basically, it goes back to my motto. You know, if you're selling something and a customer can't afford to buy what you're selling, give them the money so that they can give them back to you. <laughs> give me, you know, I'll give you the money and you just give it back to me. Okay? So you find a way to do that. It automatically increases your conversions. Can the party bus template, George asks, can the party bus template be fixed to say name of the contact form? Uh, it also, it says phone prefix on the first line of the template form. Yeah, you can add a phone number slot right there so that you can collect their phone number. The reason why we have it like that is because when you're running Google ads, the, least, uh, the less that you ask for, the less information you ask for, the... Uh, the more likely the lead will actually like sign up. So you get micro commitments from them and everything like that. But you can add a phone number situation on there so you can follow up. Okay. Okay. George left his text and, and said his number to text for when we're doing Q and A's. If y'all all, all want to do that so that y'all never miss a Q and A, that'll be smart. You can go, uh, but don't put it in here unless you want everybody to have your number. Go to Facebook and just text, uh, put your number inside the inbox, like inboxing. And we'll save that so that y'all can all get uh, notified and everything. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right, so let me stroll back down. Terrell says, can you talk more about the agency to partner program and how it will relate to copy the copy and paste rentals program? Well, just like there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, <laughs> it's all the same. Business is all the same. Leads, sales, and, you know, like recycling. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's pretty much it. So if you can control the traffic and, you know, you can lead that to the offers, then you're going to make money. Now, how does this program differ from the others? It's still going to all be the same marketing, 
but is creative deal structuring in agency to partner okay copy and paste rentals is just straightforward um you're just getting sales and you're building your income that way uh if you want to scale that up you simply add locations like a directory so for example if you're making uh three thousand dollars in in um freaking plano texas I, I don't know i'm just pulling one out of my kunduni if you're making three thousand dollars in plano texas all right well go to spring texas okay then go to humble then go to houston you know then go to like like the woodlands then go to like some other places that's how you would scale with copy and paste rentals it's just about getting the like the transaction handled okay but with agency to partner is not about the abundance of partners actually is about minimization you zone in you get one or two partners you plug in the 10 monetizations and you're simply going to scale from there after you plug in the 10 monetizations and that's another thing with agency to partner you're looking for companies that's already doing good they're already making money because as soon as you start plugging in the monetizations you start making money yourself this is before you even start working on the projects for example i'll give you an example okay let's say you get let's say you turn one of these party bus people into a real partner in the agency to partner model the first thing you would have them do which they agree to per the contract that you get the first thing that you'll do is have them switch over all of their payment buttons online and offline they have to get a brand new pos system to accept payments and in, in person card readers all of that and online they'll get a custom gateway through your partner you get 50 percent of transactions online and offline not transactions my bad 50 percent of transaction fees the transaction fees online and offline for example if something costs um a thousand bucks at their company usually when you swipe the credit card for a thousand bucks right um that company might get 960 or if they're blessed or 940 bucks let's let's use the 40 example all right so they're selling something for a thousand bucks the company gets 940 bucks where does that other 60 go it goes to the uh the processing company the car processing company the car process processing company in which you partner with so that 60 bucks is the transaction fee for credit card processing you and that company split that 60 bucks from that transaction so if you partner with a dealership and that dealership is selling 10 cars 15 cars a day or or something crazy every single like transaction they get that goes through there you know i mean you get 50 percent of that and that's just one of the 10 monetization methods that we plug into our partners so this is why you want to partner with companies that's already doing good see in the agency model the the typical agency model they teach you to go after companies that's not doing good hey they need to have a pain point <laughs> <laughs> and usually when you're selling something yeah you know common sense tells us to like you know sell sell the you know <laughs> sell the treatment or or something you know rather than a vitamin you want to sell like a pain pill or or something and i get it and i do that too in some of my business models but for agency to partner like since i'm not really begging them too much for no upfront because the more you require the more you look like an agency right <laughs> the more you try to get them on some monthly retainer you resemble the other agencies that's reached out to them so my goal is to provide as much as i can give them up front because then it gives me power and authority in a relationship they need me so that means they're going to agree to more of my terms in my agreement form which includes me plugging in, having the right to plug in my 10 monetizations. Hey, since you're not paying me anything monthly, this is how I get paid. Do you want all of these new sales or not?
when you're never going to have to pay for marketing and advertising again just by partnering with me exactly it justifies okay so that's just one of the 10 monetization methods that make it to where we don't even need to charge them like monthly or upfront. So check this out. If you get a company that ain't making no money or they're not getting a lot of traffic and then you try to plug in the 10 monetizations, yeah, you're going to be hurting for a minute because you got to go and start getting them some traffic now. So it would make more sense. Go after people that's getting traffic already. So let me give you an example instead of just talking. Okay, let's go to Google. All right, so we'll say uh, Houston uh, car dealerships boom so we can pretty much guesstimate that a search term like this in a city like that is getting over ten thousand, at least ten thousand searches per month these people in the top three have to split that traffic of the ten thousands okay getting one of these partners in the three pack when this gets 85 to 90 percent of the traffic on the first page of Google, getting any one of these partners guarantees me at least hundreds of visitors to their site per day. Okay, so, well, obviously, people aren't going to buy from the website. So, how would we monetize that online? That's where the other monetizations come in. We have other monetizations where we're going to be adding certain pages and doing certain things to capture their existing traffic their existing customers this is the trojan horse method only is designed to grow them as well instead of kill them <laughs> okay so you and them you know because they always say this i don't know if you guys ever had an agency before but when you try to charge them up front or monthly their natural thing is to suggest um some type of profit share or commission type situation I used to deny that. I used to say, hell no, nah, I'm not going to go do this SEO stuff and, and you just give me a cut. That was the dumbest thing I could have ever said. Because if they if they give me $1,000 a month, but I'm making them fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month, I'm stuck at $1,000 a month. But if I was getting a cut from every sale, I would be far past $1,000 a month. But the greed in us says, no, I need you to pay me now. So like... <laughs> And that comes from the fear. You have fear that you're not actually going to be able to rank their websites. You have fear that you're not uh, going to actually be able to uh, run their ads and get them sales and stuff like that. Well, being that I have uh, a lot of experience in the space now, teaching, participating, you know, winning and all of that, I know I can get results. I know I can rank stuff i can rank anything i can rank a twitter tweet yo i know i can increase their sales so when they tell me something like yo can i just give you 40 percent of what you bring in i say be careful what you wish for <laughs> because soon you're gonna be begging to give me a flat fee because i'm gonna get a cut of every damn thing so i teach you can offer um, you know, you can, you can get like a setup fee, tell them, okay, like, let's say you burning or you, you hurting right now and you just need some money right now. Okay. Well, get a setup fee. Okay. That's what Samantha did. Samantha got the $10,000, um, as a setup fee. That's not monthly. And now her job is to plug in the 10 monetizations because once you plug in the 10 monetizations to those gyms, it's going to be worth far more than them just paying her $10,000. Every, every member of those gyms is now her member as well. Every supplement that's sold is now going to be a commission for her. Their email list, their SMS list is, is now hers as well. Any transaction is partially hers as well. So now I have incentive to give you my undivided attention, Mr. Business Owner, because in the other agency model, my incentive is to get a hundred people paying me a thousand dollars a month. I can't sit and get you great results because you only gave me a thousand bucks. I need to keep prospecting and getting more people. 
Well, with the agency, the partner program, you can get one partner. You can get two partners. Give them all your undivided attention if you only want one. Use what I teach you in order to increase their traffic. But they're already going to have traffic to begin with if you go after the right partners. So that means just immediately start plugging in the 10 monetizations and you're going to start earning from the moment that they're set up. And then you start building them out using the money that you're making that they already were bringing in complete leverage. So that's the difference between copy and paste rentals and agency to partner. All right. <clears throat> Let's move on. Cause I got to eat. I haven't had nothing to eat except for them little pieces of beef bacon. My wife brought me. All right. So are these the key questions to ask partners? How much of a discount could you offer me on your original price? Uh, what is the best pricing you can offer me hourly plus gratuity? What is your Groupon pricing for a five hour, 20, 30, 40 passenger bus hourly gratuity? Are these the correct questions to ask? Good, good question, George. Yes, those are the correct questions to ask. If they're not on Groupon, you will still ask the other questions. Okay. You just want to know first, like, yo, what's the best you can give me? Right. And then you're going to ask, yo, and I'm, I'm happy you put the gratuity on that too, because on the sites, they always say this does not include gratuity. So tell them, yeah, include the gratuity. Like what's the best you can give me for four hours, six hours, 12 hour block. Okay. And then once they give you that, you reveal that you're not, you're not trying to like deceive them or anything, but you just let them know, yo, this isn't for me. Uh, I do events and I always get requests for transportation, but I'm spending my own money to bring you these people. So how much out of that blank quote could you afford to give me that won't hurt you? Like, like when I bring you somebody, how much could you give me out of that so that I can continue bringing you some more somebody's? Tell me you're that somebody. Oh, you that some? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. IVR, not IVA. It stands for interactive voice response. Oh, somebody must ask that. Uh, how do we know if we have a good partner? What are the signs? Like answering all of my questions, etc. That's a very good question, Jamie. Okay, what's an IVA? Give me a second. I'm about to get to that. I'm trying to see what I missed. Okay, so I told what the difference was about the the uh, programs. What's an IVR? He answered that. That's good. How do I make the number clickable? You have to put it in the link section. The actions. You got to go to where is the actions. It's gonna when you click on the button. Okay, let me come over here. When you go inside Builder All and you click on this button right here, it's gonna open up the editor and it's gonna have a link section. It's gonna have a, a little button option uh, where it says link. And you're going to click on that and you're going to go to where it says phone. And then you're just going to enter your phone, uh, the you know, your tracking number. And it's going to automatically be, you know, clickable. Just make sure you guys are publishing your sites. Don't forget, every time you make a change, click the publish button and save this site button. All right. All right. Signs to know if you're a good partner. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good question. Well, Flexibility is always a good sign. If they have zeal, that's a good sign. Once they figure out what you're doing and they start like hitting you up or asking you like what else could they do like to make this speed up or something like that, those are good signs that you have a good partner because then you can start saying, "Hey, well, um if you wouldn't mind verifying this Google business profile for me so that I can rank it, that's definitely something you can do. Because then, guess what? You guys can start harnessing some of that free Google traffic. Then, after you plug in the snack, pa uh, snack pack attack um, course. Okay. Yeah, so them being flexible on price, them being flexible on like hours and stuff and days and all of that stuff, them being... Um, uh, having zeal and and uh, you know they're they're um, excited about it or something like that. That usually happens after using a couple leads or after you send a couple jobs. It you'll know if they're excited about it. You'll hear it in their voice. 
that's good. Once you can get excitement out of them, then you can like plug in, like if you're an agency to partner, you can plug in the 10 monetizations. If you're not an agency to partner, at least you know that you'll be able to have somebody that'll work with you. My St. Louis partner is like super awesome. Okay, like shoot, sometimes they're fixed pricing, they'll they'll budge on that, you know, just to make sure we don't lose the person. You know what I'm saying? So those are signs where they care about the overall success of like what's happening rather than every single little penny or or being able to say, no, this is my company and we don't do this. We don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> okay. All right, so those are some good signs. All right. Also, like I said, if they're helpful, if they're if they're um if they are open with you, like if they're open minded to try some of your suggestions, hey, do you think we can like put the offer on your website? I believe that it will convert more. Hey, uh, you know, what if we change the offer to this, right? What if we put the opt-in button over here? Like, if they're open to stuff like that, then you got a good partner. Uh, okay, so I answered that. Yes, gratuity is, yeah. Terrell says, ah, that makes sense. How does starting an online bank process work? Oh man, y'all y'all going all off now. Like, keep it on copy and paste rentals and agency to partner. Right? Cause he's talking about over here, my former agency, uh, profitpositioningpartners.com. One of my products is we build online banks for businesses. Okay. Um, but as you can see, I mean, even though we got the financing and stuff, guys, like I wouldn't recommend this to y'all unless you don't, unless you just really want to. I've sold it to a lot of people on the YouTube channels and all of that extra stuff. I see that it has way better use for local businesses because they have way more capital and way more like, like reason to have this, like it benefits them more. Like if you're just trying to start your own cash app, like that's what I was promoting it as before. But what I got to realize is every single state that you want to operate in requires you to have something called a money transfer license. The only state that does not require this is Montana. Now, what I usually recommend, uh, like YouTube entrepreneurs, I say that because you guys come from YouTube. I didn't meet you outside of this, but most people that you meet on YouTube are like discounters, not, you know, not saying as y'all, but most people on YouTube come in, they try to be cheap, just being real. So, you, you know, you get the bank, let's say that you go ahead and do this. You know what I'm saying? You go and you set up in Montana. Guess what? You can do that. You can grow big in Montana before we had the internet, before we had financing and all of that type of stuff. Most banks were local to their location, if we want to say that. And they didn't have like branches all across the world and all of that at one point in time, but they still held millions of dollars inside those banks. So if if you want to do that, where you start in Montana first, where you don't have to have the money transmitter uh, license to be legal, and then you just save up all your profits for that year, and then you go into another state and build up that way, then cool, you can do that, right? But a lot of people don't have the tenacity, the endurance and, and all of that extra stuff to like do it. Like most of the people that I've done is with that weren't actual local businesses, I don't even know where the hell they at. They just disappeared because they're embarrassed that they gave up, okay? But the next state that you can do that in is Hawaii, where I was born. And it is only a thousand bucks for the transmitter license there. Um, but you get all of that information and all of that if you were to get that, you know, the bank in a box situation. At one point in time, I was selling this to you guys on YouTube. Some of you guys, 10,000 bucks. I even brought it to 5,000. And those people still ain't do a lot with it. I'm like, yo, me, I did mine with truckers. It's way better to like, like pick a niche. I always tell y'all that. And like, 
do it with a specific niche and stuff. But then when when Stripe took away there, uh, they used to have a shared banking license. They allowed you if you had your platform to share their legalities and all of that stuff. And you can leverage their licenses instead of having to go and get uh, money transmitter license in all 50 states. But now they took that away. So you have to get your own licenses. And in some states, it's like a million dollars to get a license. If you want to do it in New York and Cali and all these, come on, man. Shit, please. You better do it in Montana. Start in Montana. Then go to Hawaii. And then I can't remember the next place. But even just doing it in those two states, you'll get extremely wealthy. So, I mean, that's why I don't understand why the people didn't like see it through that I was doing that with. If that's a goal of yours and you're going to see it through, then do it. I I like these little small operations where I can give the local uh, businesses the banks and I know that they're going to actually like make a killing with it and it's going to change everything for them. Okay, but anyway, um, what are your thoughts about doing an ATP model in solar? Um, it can be done in any niche. What you need to decide on is um, like difficulties of payment collecting. One of our biggest income streams of doing this model, especially once we increase traffic and sales, is payment collection. Now, I don't know, but how does a payment, I mean, how does a solar company collect the payments? Do they collect it online? Do I don't got, I don't have solar. Do they collect it in person? Do they have credit card readers? Do they have payment buttons? Or is it through some other way of collecting payments? Because me, I will go with businesses and companies that have traditional like ways of collecting payments. That way, everything is trackable. I don't want uh, sent invoices or, or, or some crap like that where I can't really like track when the business owner is getting every freaking sale. I need them to have like like, like it's retail or something where they got the credit card reader sitting on the counter. The customer comes in, they swipe for what they want type situation. They go on the site, they add the cart, they buy like that. It needs to be simplistic. But you can do it in any niche because guess what? You still got nine other monetizations that you can plug in. Uh, <clears throat> can you use Call Fire with Thumbtack without a website? Yes, you can. I got to go back on the clock, says Jamie. Or uh, you probably already gone. Well, if, you, if you're looking at the recording of this, adios. All right, Terrell says, ooh, or oh. I don't know which one. Um, sorry about that. I thought it was one of the monetization methods. Uh, sorry about what? You, I don't think you said nothing wrong. All right. <clears throat> Questions are permissible. That's why we're doing this. There's nothing wrong with asking the question. All right. Can you tell us how to conduct a closing call with partners that we are attending, intending to apply the 10 monetization methods with? Is it re-explaining what I'm going to do and obtaining the access needed from the partner? I may have two calls this week. All praises to the most high. Okay. Yeah, I really have to zone in as well or the formula for local high foot traffic niches. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'll just say this. Business owners care about one thing. That is profit. Why do you think I named my eight old agency profit positioning partners instead of lead gen partners or lead gen agency or lead this, lead that? Because they care ultimately the end goal how much money am I going to have after it's all said and done? With that being said, on this call, that needs to be the focus of the call. The 10 monetization methods is for you to know and for them to find out. No, I'm just playing with you. But <laughs> they're on a the need-to-know basis. Since they're not paying you monthly, everything they need to know is going to be on the agreement form. So when you're talking to them, you're simply letting them know you're not going to have to pay for leads anymore. You're not going to have to close sales anymore that come from me. I'm going to send you actual money. Like you're going to get an email 
a notification showing that I made a payment to you for what your prices are. And then you're going to get another email that shows you where you have to pick up the person where you're dropping them off and how many hours is going to be and all of that. That's how it's going to go. And you're going to notice that the phone call volume is going to increase because I'm going to be increasing the traffic. Your brand visibility will in turn increase the sales. I'm going to add new income streams that you're not going to have to pay out of pocket for. I'm going to add new income streams you're not going to have to hire anybody for. I'm going to add new income streams that doesn't have any overhead to them. You don't have to train staff to handle. I'm going to handle that. I just want to be your partner. Once you agree to partner with me today, you can expect an increase in traffic and sales before the week is out. That is how you handle the close. That's it. Then they're going to say, well, so how much is this? Well, I just told you I want to be your partner. Your partner wouldn't charge you monthly fees, but since we both have skin in the game and I'm going to be doing all of the work, including marketing, traffic, and sales out of my time and pocket, since I have already been sending leads to all of these other people and they're interested as well, what's the most you can give me for a setup or a handshake just a one time? Just to show me you're serious about like being my exclusive partner where I'm not sending you the same deals and leads that they were getting. Boom. But let me let me like like really clarify something. Remember the important was important. Remember what the QB is, the quarterback, what you have to protect so you can win the game. Remember what needs to be defended at all times. And that is the partnership. What do I mean by that? What you, your, your little upfront fee don't mean nothing in the grand scheme of you plugging in the 10 monetizations. So if you've done your due diligence and these people are already getting traffic and sales and you can, you can see that visibly, you can like confirm it. You know that they're getting calls and all of this stuff because they're ranking and they're running ads and they're on these thumbtack platforms and you know, they're getting traffic. Well, guess what? forfeit the freaking setup feed in the quicker you <laughs> plug in the 10 monetization methods that's all all that matters i promise you that's all that matters they're going to have to go to you for new equipment they're going to have to go to you for new vehicles they're going to have to go to you for for loans they're going to have to go to you yo i'm trying to be a man of god so i'm not going to use profanity so i'll just abbreviate it F the dang on upfront fees. F the monthly fees. I know, I know, I know the programming is tough. The indoctrination from YouTube is crazy. I get it. Everybody, hey, I made 15000 last week with 15 headache clients. Don't you want to do what I do? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. You get a partner that is doing well already. Only thing better than money in business is more money. So we seem to think that just because they're doing well, they won't want to partner with. No, 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 no. Show them you got more money. Why do you think it's billionaires? How come they didn't stop after they were a millionaire? Because only being better than money in business is more money. Those same billionaires are trying to be trillionaires right now. So find people that are doing well already, because that means if you leech on, you attach, you tick you parasite onto them, then you automatically do well. Now your success is not in your hands anymore, is it? Now it's not a cross my fingers anymore. Now it's not a, I wonder if it's going to work. It's not a if it's going to work. It's a when it's going to work. Because think about this, guys. If they're getting sales already when you meet them, before you like even done anything to them, they're getting sales. That means the moment that you plug in your 10 monetization, who else is getting sales? Who else is getting money? You are immediately. And then you start enhancing what's already working for them. You start building out the digital twin. See, in the agency to partner program, we teach you to build twins of the assets that they already have that's making them money. And these twins, you either own 100% of them or you own 80% of them. But if you were to part ways, those twins go with you. But they funded the creation and build out of those twins. 
So that's literally, I mean, you wouldn't say all of that, but what I said before <laughs> is what you would say on the call. That's what you want to say. You're just letting them know you're bringing them more money. All right. Like you're not going to have to close sales anymore. I'm going to uh, handle the lead generation. I'm going to close them. I'm going to collect payments. I'm going to send you the money. I'm going to send you the information of what uh, the customer data. You're going to own the customer data as well. Um, I'm going to add some more hands off, uh, no overhead, no staff needing income streams. And we're going to grow together as partners. Boom. I mean, you don't have to pay me anything up front, but if you want to like, like incentivize me to like, like really put a move on this, then you can give me a little bit up front because then I could just add that as fuel to the fire of what's already working. As you can see, I've already sent you some leads. I already sent you some jobs out of my own. So yeah, you'll just be throwing like, you know, fuel on a fire if you were to give me something up front, but I don't need your money. What did he say? Well, who was that? The Temptations? I can't remember. Five RP? One of them. I don't need your money. Yeah. All right. So I don't need your money, man. Let them be like, be clear about that. Because when, when these business owners think you need their money, they treat you like an employee. And that's usually being treated bad. Nah, nah. If I leave, your company goes to crap. They need to know that. All right. Um... So that was an awesome question. You guys had some awesome questions today. Anybody else have any more questions? Remember, I'm on here now. If you have questions, don't be shy. No question is a dumb question. Trust me. And most of the questions y'all got, somebody else got that same question, but they scared to ask it. So just, just, ask, just ask the question if you have a question. Okay? It doesn't matter if it's agency to partner or if it's... Um, um copy and paste rentals ask the question if it's a question about uh two-on-one -on -one sessions one-on-one -on -one sessions ask the questions whatever it is all right shay said can we just open up to other locations uh using the same website and lead gen tools of course that's what i was talking about with copy and paste right but you want to remember that like make sure that this partner services those locations because if not then if you open up those locations you're going to have to get more partners remember if you focus you can pull your six to seven figures from one or two partners okay you don't need a lot of people so if your partner has multiple locations cool yep you're just gonna like dog the way you get to your millions is just like duplicating what works over and 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 over. People try to leap from a hundred dollars to a million dollars, but guess what? If you figure out how to speed up the time in which you get those hundreds, then you'll get to the million dollars eventually anyway. But people try to skip the thousands, the ten thousands, and all of that stuff. So my point in saying that is, if you got copy and paste rentals, or if you got one of the business models working good in one city, just literally copy that to another city and you do that over and over and over and over and over until you reach your goals, your financial goals. You don't have to, okay, so I got this income stream. All right, let me open up a flower shop. And then when that works, I'm gonna open up a bowling app. No, 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 no. You just do what, whatever's working, you do that over and over and over and don't take for granted how much is working oh it's only bringing me an extra thousand dollars a week okay find out how to make that multiply per week but keep doing the same thing though do i need to get partners and have them do exactly what i'm doing that makes a thousand bucks and i just give them a cut out of that and then get more partners right like do what works over and over and over and over okay so she says yes her partner has multiple locations awesomeness yeah, just do exactly what you're doing to get leads and stuff. And if you have problems, open up multiple accounts, guys. Don't forget, what are they called? Partners. Make them do it. Hey, you want me to help you scale? I I can't get past this firewall over here, or I can't get past this uh, situation blocking my IP or something like that. Please set up this Google business profile. Please set up this new thumbtack profile. Okay? 
and then add me as a person on your account or something so or something i don't know okay so now george asked also please show us how uh, how to send the customer a receipt immediately after they pay via email and text is this an automation tool or can this be done via better all um no <laughs> if you're collecting it through cash app or um zelle until you uh set up your high-risk merchant account like i showed you guys earlier once you go through one of those high-risk merchant accounts you can do that uh easy pay i believe they'll let you guys in now so just go ahead and try and set that up all right so once you go through them then you know you can set up all of that like that they'll set that stuff up for you but as far as you collecting payments manually like through a cash app or 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 a zelle or something like that they're gonna get the receipt or the notification from zelle or cash app that they made the payment and who it's from and the date is on and all of that that's all they need you can send them a confirmation uh meaning like letting them know okay thank you this is the time that your bus is gonna like be at your house and pick you up and all of that you're pretty much just re repeating what the quote said like on thumbtack okay you're gonna be picked up on thursday september 5th uh at this time blah 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 thanks for you know working with whatever the name of your party bus company is that's it until you get your merchant account set up so like i said go inside the new course because i redid it you guys should see it if you if you just got on here copy and paste rentals got the anime treatment not anime like the cartoon anime like tina turner from from what's love got to do with it <laughs> she want to be made over right so like we got we made over made over the course so it's way more simplistic it answers all your questions it gets you straight to the money you put action to it you're going to cash in all right that's definitely a guarantee damn t just do it okay so yeah yeah the as far as receipts and stuff is all this stuff is manual until you get your merchant account okay good question though man Good question. All right. Yeah, no problem. No problem, man. All right. Who else? Who else? Let me see how many. There's still nine folks on here. Who else have a question? Because guess what? I haven't seen y'all testimonials. So some of y'all should have some questions. Abner said, are we going to get the helicopter course later today? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. But you didn't even know about that. Right? So make money with what you have. We had this conversation earlier. Guys, you don't need an abundance of options it's going to be in there for you but i want to see y'all like work with what you have the scripture says he that is faithful with little the most high will make you i mean he believes that you'll be faithful with much so that's when he'll start blessing you with more stuff if you are horrible at managing things when you have a little then maybe that's why a lot of the stuff that we want in life is being held back from us because he like damn if I let them win the lottery, they're going to drink themselves to death or to crack themselves to death or spin themselves to poverty or, or do something crazy like that. So, guys, I want y'all to focus because right now, every single model y'all have in there right now, I'm not putting it in there for y'all to be confused or have shiny object syndrome. I'm putting it in there because those are niches that I have experience in and I know you can get results with it. So pick a niche. If you're going to do helicopter when it's in there, fine, do that. But you're never going to get anywhere if you're doing party bus now. Then you already then went over there and started Airbnb. Uh, now, when I put a helicopter in there, you're going to do that. No, do one, get it working, and then you can explore the others, all right? Just, just do me that solid pause right there, please. Okay? All right, just do, do that, please. But, yes, the helicopter, of uh, course, will be in there later today um it's gonna be drip fed because i am extremely tired from rushing and like answering all of these questions and recreating copy and paste rentals the party bus section so uh certain parts will be available in, in the helicopter course it ain't gonna all just be splat right there get your mind out the gutters um anybody else mark shay 
iPhone, whoever that is, AB, George, Terrell, any other questions before I ride off into the rain? Because there's no sun right now. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Do 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 do. Do you have any more questions? Okay, Shay says, should we move away from call fire, being that we can do ringless voicemail? Um, no, because the ringless voicemail. I mean, I don't know what company you go through, but the company I do the ringless voicemails through, they don't have IVR. Um. You know, they don't have it to where, like, I mean, if you set up a blast in there, you still got to answer the phone live. Like, you have to answer the phone um, unless you have, like, some special voicemail that it'll go to and, and you'll be able to collect the information like that. But then the leads will still get cold and all of that. So the phone number, call fire is just, like, so that you can have services attached to your phone number ringless voicemail is just so that you can get your phone number in front of people <laughs> right so it had the the each platform has a separate goal and uh different features unless you find a platform that does both i'm pretty sure it is um out there i just use cloudfire for so long right now i just made an account over there on call rail and i got a call with them to see because even with me they're not even answering me no more over there on call fire as far as to set up the IVRs. So I've been I've been working, y'all, trying to get y'all help and stuff. Like y'all be thinking I ain't, you know, thinking about y'all. I am. Pretty much probably more than I should be, because I got kids and a wife. Uh <laughs> but but yeah, I do. So they ain't been answering me on Call Fire either. So I'm uh getting ready to talk to somebody from Call Rail. I don't have experience with call rail, but I'm going to see if they can set up an IVR with me on the call. So then I'll be able to like, um, you know, like set it up, help y'all set it up and do all of that extra stuff. Or you guys can get on the call with them and they can set it up, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to probably do it anyway, just so that I can put it into the training. Um, so it'll be another question that is answered for all. Um, but yeah, call fire has is, is, is been cool. It's been good, but they ain't answering me, so I got to ride out. Okay, so Chase said, yeah, I've been using them since I first came on with Effajob. <laughs> yeah, them the, them the good old old days. That's what Anti-Job used to be uh, named for y'all that are new around here. Shay has been around since the Effajob days, like super old days with 17 2018 2019 or somewhere around that type of situation you know what i'm saying um yeah man yeah man so call fire man i don't know what's up with them but i'm definitely finna like yeah start moving off to somebody else mark says thank you man appreciate it mark says is there a better way is there a way to get better leads on thumbtack more specified to my niche the send over they send over people at times that don't need party buses um well i, I, I don't know like what type of people are they sending over like let me know like i i don't know why they're sending you people that don't need party buses when you guys sign up as a party bus it asks you all of the services you provide sometimes we'll check everything it says travel events it gives the option for that it gives the option for limousine and chauffeur it gives the option for party buses and it gives the option for i think something else like charter or, or, or something like that maybe when you first signed up those were checked and you didn't realize maybe maybe okay but usually you're gonna get either party bus or limo leads and remember you can refuse leads if somebody try to charge you for a lead that ain't got nothing to do with what you're doing you just reach out to support and say give me my money back give me my money back you yeah y'all don't remember that song y'all y'all young man y'all young <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah they have to pay you back they have to give you that money right back right so i mean there's no danger there uh but one thing i do want to say again guys 
just because you have a party bus site, what did we say about the other people? They have a gap, right? They don't have, like, they got party buses, but they don't have limos. They have limos, but they don't have party buses. More people are going to want limousines than they are going to want party buses. That's the niche I started out in. But party buses are hot for certain occasions. But don't forget, there's more occasions that require limousines, proms. I mean, this is the new generation. They might be getting party buses for, for prom now. I don't know. But traditionally, you get a limo, stretch limo, stretch hummer or something like that for prom. Graduation, limo most of the time. Homecoming, limo. Uh, funeral. You definitely ain't getting no dang on party bus with that. You shouldn't. I mean, I don't know. A lot of y'all be having weird funerals now. This new generation is freaking retarded. Anyway, uh, what other occasions? Corporate events. People like to slide up looking like Michael Jackson with the limo. You ain't going to no corporate event and no party bus. I mean, you probably could. That'd draw a lot of attention to yourself. They'll definitely be talking about that. I'm going to use that as a, a networking technique when I go somewhere. Okay, thank you. But traditionally... You're not going to a, a networking event or a corporate event in a, in a in a party bus. You'll use a limo or a black car service. So these are things that you guys can consider if your leads are slow with party buses or they're saying it's expensive or if you're getting more people or opportunities for limos that you see in the opportunity tab, then guess what? Add limos. But how do I charge? You do the exact same thing you did with the party buses. You contact them like, okay, all right. So now I need a quote for limos. I know the limos are probably going to be a little bit cheaper. So what's your hourly rate during the week for limos? What's your hourly rate on the weekends? Plus gratuity, like you said, on the weekends. What is your hourly minimum as well? Because I'm about to start sending people for limos. Okay, and that's literally what you're doing. You just go back in there and you set up a new service and you can find that in the thumbtack tutorial as well. <laughs> okay, you set up a new service and this time you make it all about limo. Okay, not a new account. I'm saying in the same account, you just create, you add a service. They give you the option to add a service and you're going to add the service, give it the same irresistible offer, only you're going to switch the words party bus with limousine and you're going to switch the prices, obviously. OK, if you start getting mess, yo, supply for the demand. If you start getting messages talking about I need black car service, then do it. It's not like you got to go and buy the cars for this stuff. Somebody else already got it. Leverage them. So all you're doing is all right. Now I offer that. I gave you guys party bus so that you can focus. So zone in. So you wouldn't be all over the place. But if it's more demand for a different service in your area, you these are models. These are formulas. These are laws. You can switch it to any niche and it will work the exact same way. OK, so, yeah, man, like whatever service they're coming in, guess what? They're coming in, man. One of the hardest things in business is to get people to come to you rather than you having to chase them down. So, guys, I don't think y'all realize how much weight the leads hold and you guys are spoiled you're getting leads your first second third day in business when when i was trying to do certain things this stupid dog have a seat dog is dumb all right when i was trying to do business back in the day before all of these directories when i was doing seo i would have to wait months sometimes before the first phone call came in y'all get into a program and on the same day, with no experience, you start getting leads, <laughs> right? So you literally just have to tweak a few things, guys. You're this close to getting what you want. You just have to tweak a few things. But remember, where the, the, where the demand is, you just have to plug in. Like, imagine the, the demand is a leak. You understand what I'm saying? And it's just like flowing out and is about to flood your bathroom okay and now what is that stuff that that, that never mind that was gonna sound inappropriate uh <laughs> what's the stuff that you like fill the holes in the, the drywall and all of that stuff with she i cannot think of the dang on name but anyway that is the supply that's the party buses the black cars the limos all of that your job is to plug in that leak 
plug that demand with the supply of limos or black cars. Whatever demand is happening in your town, that is what you get the supply for. So yeah, okay, they they hitting you up for something different. Guess what? All right, well, I'm going to go get a partner for that right there just so I can have that partner on standby just in case I get some more of these leads right here. This person got $5,000 they can spend for this. I don't know why I'm 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 showing up for you know uh house rewiring, but uh, but whatever. I'm gonna go find me a partner for this. This is a big project right here. You hear me? So like do what you gotta do, y'all. Okay. Uh where you say Shay say, hmm, I've I've never got nine party bus leads from Thumbtack. That's what I was saying. Maybe at the beginning when you set it up, make sure y'all take your time. Sometimes they have little boxes that you can check or check off um on on these little applications and stuff so just read it real slow and take your time and make sure you're only like checking the services that you want to do that could be it i'm not accusing you of anything that could possibly be it okay if it's not then you can simply just refuse any non-related leads that come in that you don't want to do that's all um Mark said charter buses for 70, 70 people are people that only need to be picked up for one way or one hour. OK, so that like I said, that goes back to when you first signed up. If they're sending you that, that was one of the options. Charter buses. OK, so it must have been checked. You can go in there and you can uncheck it or <laughs> you can just ask your partners. Hey, y'all got charters, right? Yeah, we got charters. Cool. I got this lead. Matter of fact, do this before. Do this now. Hit up your partner and be like, look, I got um 70 people that want a, ch a charter bus. Like, what can you do with that? Okay. And once again, like I said, we want a four hour block, guys. But don't turn down nothing but your dang on collar in my E40 voice. If if somebody come in that like need a one way or one hour, that's why I said get. If you're in copy and paste rentals, you should have more than one partner agency to partner people i tell them to get one partner but if you're in copy and paste rentals then you need more than one partner that way you don't have to turn anybody away so if one of your partners like now we got a three hour minimum that's it buddy then fine you should have a partner that does hourly oh well i don't have that one well get back to google find out who does hourly go on thumbtack Go through the other listings of people that are on there and you'll see it's going to be somebody that has their hourly rate and they do hourly. Fine. Hit them up. Like, yo, I'm about to send you people. You're going to be my hourly person. They're going to be like, cool. Listen, partnerships, guys. Partnerships mean every damn thing. It was something I wanted to show y'all on this call about partnerships it was something i had screenshotted or or something i have to post it in a group or something i can't remember geez dang. it's always something on my mind man but it was something that uh this person just had like one new partner one new connect if they didn't have this partner they would have missed out on 10 million dollars y'all need to become obsessed with partners they don't have to be your best friends now you ain't got to call them on sundays and bless them or nothing like that you ain't got to go to church with them if you don't want to you ain't got to have brunch with them if you don't want to but you need to have them in your back pocket i was just reading about that in the scripture this morning and he was talking about make friendly with the mammon of unrighteousness what why would it why would god well that was christ speaking why would Christ tell us to make friendly with the mammon of unrighteousness? Because in that parable, he was talking about a man that when he was down on his luck, he didn't have anybody that would help him because he was this high and mighty holy man that looked down on everybody else or treated people uh, differently or something like that. So when he was down on his luck, he didn't have no connections because these people weren't like him. Of course, you want your best friends to be like you. The scripture says every beast should love is like what consorted a wolf with a sheep, of course. But in business, 
I mean, wasn't King Solomon super rich and in business with Herod? He was not an Israelite. That was of another nation. But everybody will tell you that Israelites, we're not supposed to deal with other nations, right? But King Solomon is the richest man past, future, present. Okay, so guys, don't be afraid of partners. That should be a daily task. I will be become obsessed with partners. Like, be like, yo, get every ounce of business owner out of your city as you can. I'm out here in a country where I don't know the language, even though I should by now, but I'm so busy always doing this. I, I be tired. I don't feel like <laughs> I be tired, man. I know I would have learned it if it went no Google Translate by now. I know I know enough to get around, but I'm not fluent. I'm gonna get fluent. But in the next couple of weeks and months, you guys are gonna see me out there doing stuff that I don't normally do on camera. Uh, these are things that I already do. Like I'm I'm like buying businesses out here and partnering with people, not buying them out of my pocket. Yeah, I know how I do. You know, I use my skills. Because guess what? In different countries, they don't know nothing about this SEO Facebook ad stuff. So I'm literally like a, a freaking king out in these places. So You're I can right. leverage that to, to own businesses out yes. here. That, yes, that are this is company with in a middle class life. Hold on. All right. So, guys. Yo, partners, get as many partners as you can. That's going to bless your life. So if you fall, the scripture says... Uh, be uh, make friendly with the mammon of unrighteousness so that if you fall or if you you know are without you'll have somebody to have your back if you're doing marketing and you're not draining all of these let's say you run into legal troubles i used this example earlier when i was doing bible study with my uh, my family you run into legal trouble you've been doing marketing for four lawyers you get wrongfully accused these are the best lawyers in the city I want all of y'all on my case. All y'all, all four of y'all going to work my case. I've been sending y'all millions of dollars a year. Partnerships, man. You, you're going to get off. You got the best four lawyers in the dang on state. And they owe you. Like, partnerships is everything. They're everything. So become obsessed with that. Okay, Mark says, I still use those leads. At first, I didn't if... They don't have a four hour minimum, but some of my partners have those size buses or I would let the customer know that I may charge for four hours or send the lead to my partners. Leads never die. Exactly. If you're in the agency to partner program, <laughs> dog, if you don't leverage these leads, man, I mean, if you're in copy and paste rentals, I already just showed y'all what to do with leads. You can resell the mugs, but if you're in, in agency to partner, you use them mugs as bait to get a partner. You lasso they butt in. You understand what well, you hear? What I'm, <laughs> come on, use them these right. You charge high, but that doesn't mean every other party bus, you know, company calls high, uh, charges high. So if they haven't already talked to your partner and got a quote, guess what? You send them there, and that's going to be a new lead for that partner, and they're going to be able to close a percentage of that. And guess who they have to thank for it exactly they're in in your debt now okay all right uh mark said i'm gonna go recheck that for sure all right it is two damn it looked like it's later than two but i still gotta eat y'all i am hungry with an o in there uh oh and a u i'm hungry all right so i gotta get to it you understand uh we still for a limited time have the three hour setup session with me and Curtis. Yes, it is 5K, but as you guys saw today, you don't have to pay that. We have financing now, so it is no excuses. If you guys have been in here for a couple months and you have not converted, if you've considered giving up or trying a different business model, I would strongly urge you to get one of our sessions because that's all it would take. Okay? especially three hours, do what we say. And you have ongoing, uh, ongoing support and you're going to close. You're going to get it. We don't leave anybody in the dust. All right. All right. So love you guys. I got a ride. Talk to you later.